Okay, welcome to James Green's English Classroom. I am James. We study English here every day at 13 UTC, nine in the morning in New York. We are a group online to learn English in different ways, different uh, abilities and different teachers teaching in the group with different classes every day. If you are interested in English, you can join, come and go freely and um, all of the activities are free and teachers can get paid. If you want to be a teacher, you can teach occasionally one class a week, host a class and something you're interested in, share something you know. We have a book club, we have um, so many things. So um, let's begin the way we work. You can just say your name, where you're from and speak. We'll start with something called news and distractions, something new, new information or something stopping you from studying. Would, does anybody have any news or distractions they want to start with before we get to study and work? This is Murad. Go ahead, Murad. Uh, actually, I just wanted to ask you about the, the, the kids' English classes. I thought that today at this time it was supposed to be held. I don't know what's the oh. news. Oh, yes, we had the children. That's the news is that we had the children's class. It was it started one hour ago and it finished. Did you oh. did you think it was starting now? Yes, actually, you told me that it's one GTM, and it's in in my country. Uh, it's equal to four, so it was supposed to be today. Oh, so, uh, exactly this time. Well, I'm sorry that we had uh, miscommunication. I'm sorry we had a miscommunication about the time. Um, I'm sure that that there were there were many miscommunications, which is why it is a trial, and we will work it out. We'll we'll do it again. I'll do it again, and we'll figure it out. Um, it just ended, so I still haven't heard from people, but I know um, some people came in late, or some people forgot that the link was not the same as this link and they didn't know where it was and they went to their email and all kinds of things. So we'll work that out. But yeah, the, the time was different. The time was not starting right now. It was one hour ago. Sorry, Murad. No problem. It's okay. I, uh, because there were a lot of uh, students was uh, were pre preparing themselves, you know, to attend the kids' uh, English classes. I so I'm going to inform that uh, was already uh, finished. And yeah. uh, I don't know exactly if there is any specific time for the coming session or uh, the class. You can tell them. I will announce it right now. I will do another kid's class at the same time next week, which is one hour before this. 12 UTC, 12 Universal Coordinated Time. Okay, so it will be three... Uh, PM in my country. It's supposed to be like that. I don't want to know the time in your country. It will only make me, me and other people confused. I would like people here to learn how to use UTC time. That's a way that we coordinate together. UTC time is very common. You can look it up on Wikipedia. What is it? And you can always type in to Google what time is it now in UTC time, they'll tell you. And so then you can always figure out what time the event is happening because with many different people, there's maybe 24 different times and I can't keep track of everybody's time. I need you to do a little bit of work and come into the group time. The group time will be UTC. Okay. That's clear. Okay. I'll inform them that we missed that uh, today class and coming week, there will be a new one. Exactly. The same time. It, it, exactly. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Anyone else have any news or distractions? Uh, this is Amira. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm feeling uh, sore throat. But uh, my news today, my kids uh, was surprised because uh, this is the first time for joint English class. Anyone else? 
Mira, you sound horrible. I'm worried about you. Don't talk anymore. Take care of your throat. But I'm glad that your children enjoyed uh, the class and had a chance to join. But take care of that throat. Rest, rest those vocal cords. Anyone else have news or distractions? Hello, this is Salwa. How are you, James? Hi, Salwa from Sue. Egypt. Yeah, Sue. <laughs> How Sue. are you? Hi, Sue. Hello to all my friends. Um, I, I have one request as a teacher for uh, kids. Yeah, I want to be with you in, uh, in that class. <laughs> <laughs> what is what, yeah, me, why we uh, we shouldn't be with you in the class to learn from you oh are are you a, do you have children no i'm not i'm single i'm not married <laughs> okay so yeah. it is it is for children and that's why it you can't come we have uh, classes for adults and classes for children and it's different Okay, I'll search about with the neighbors and children to attend with you. Is it right? <laughs> I'll search about kids yeah, in our streets. What, what should I do to attend with you, James? Uh, I want if to, I want if to you have joy, if you well, it's not for you, it's for children. <laughs> and yeah, consider me as a children. What, well, what is the I, I, you, I'm not considering you as a child because you're not a child. No, no, consider it, imagine, just, just imagine it. <laughs> do, do, you want, do you want to know what I'm doing or do you want to hold the children's classes? No, I want to learn from you and from children. What is the problem? What is the problem? Yes. I don't, you tell me, what is, yeah, you tell me, what is the problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to, I want to, uh, to join him. <laughs> uh, Sue, I, I hear that you want to. You want to join the children's classes. I understand. Yes, it's also, I want it's to very, Sue, very yeah. noisy. Very, very, very <laughs> noisy. <laughs> what, 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 so, wait, wait, wait. What's noisy? Me? I Me don't noisy? know. I, 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 I'm trying, I'm not sure who, where it's noisy. Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, where are my co-hosts? Claudette, I'm making you a co-host. And Mohammed Ishbara, I'm making you a co-host. And Fatima, I'm making you a co-host. And do we have any other co-hosts present? Okay, James, can I? May I attend or not? Uh, you tell me, what did you hear me say? Yeah. <laughs> no, I beg you. I beg you to, to join with you. To oh. learn from you how to, how to teach kids or something yeah. like this. Okay. Well, um, you want to be a teacher. I'm a teacher. You are a teacher. Oh. Yes. Well, you're, you're not yet a teacher in the group, but you, you, you could become a teacher. You could become a teacher. Hold on, Jaka. One second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to mute you, Jaka. So, Sue. Yeah. Uh, you're a teacher. You'd like to be a teacher in the group. The way to become a teacher in the group is to schedule your first hour of teaching with adults. Would you like to do that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And I, yeah. I scheduled my, uh, my lesson, oh. inshallah. Great. Yeah, wait, but wait. Um, Sue. Sue. Yeah. Sue. So. So the butt tells me no. So hold on with the butt. Now, when did you schedule your first teaching class for? When is it? Oh, uh, second of July. Yeah. Second of July. So there's a little bit of time. Yes. If you teach on the second of July, then you'll be able to schedule two more classes. And we we do this gradually, right? Because the, the group is growing. The group is growing. There's more teachers. There's more students. There's more classes. Some kids are having classes. There's a reading. The group is growing. One, yeah. one step at a time, okay? Teach your class. Become, you know, let's see what your teaching is. Let's um, see how the kid's class goes. The kid's class is new. One yeah. step at a time, okay? But I, I love the idea. I love the idea of you maybe um being a teacher of introducing kids that you know into the kids class of um you know talking about the difference between teaching adults 
teaching kids. So there's lots of things we can do, just one, one step at a time, okay? okay. We'll Thank it, you so much. We'll take it slow. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin to join on what we have in common and play to integrate our differences for the purpose of learning English. We have one hour of open conversation. Now it's 45 minutes and I just wanna check the schedule, let people know what the schedule is for today. The schedule for today is um, when I, in, in 45 minutes, Fatima is teaching a grammar class now, it doesn't say on the schedule what level grammar, so I'm going to guess it's for everyone, mixed level grammar. If that's incorrect, Fatima, let me know. Then, um, three intermediate Anna, grammar. Inter, great, intermediate three, grammar. Three, three intermediate, maybe, or intermediate. Okay. Passive voice and active voice. Okay, so maybe a advanced beginner or uh, low intermediate uh, grammar passive voice, then there is um, there is a, well, I will come back. I will teach after Fatima, um, maybe continue. I'll see how I feel. Anna Maria's class is canceled, sorry. And then at 17 UTC, Nellie's class um, will start. So that's the schedule. And now we're together, let's do our class. If you'd like to speak, say your name, where you're from, and what you'd like to talk about. Go ahead. Over to you. Who would like to start? Is this Rindu? Uh, Rindu, and then somebody said, may I? Now, if you say may I, you won't really, I won't, you'll have a harder time. Instead of saying may I, just say your name and country. Who said may I? This is Zainab from Pakistan. Okay, so Rindu and then Zainab from Pakistan. Go ahead, Rindu. Okay, thank you, James. I would like to uh, back to the previous um, topic about uh, teaching kids. And I want to tell that my daughter uh, is a shy person. And he, before he joined the class, he, she is so like worried, but uh, also excited. And then at the first time, uh, at the beginning, when in the, in the Zoom meeting, uh, you know that uh, they are two and both of them feel confused and like uh, afraid that totally uh, don't understand what uh, you were saying. And then after you come with the picture and talk about the picture, gradually they, tried, uh, they are starting to understand and can uh, interact with the, with the class and they, are, they like it. Actually, my first child, the oldest one is eight years old and she, uh, she can continue and she can uh, understand how the class is going. And that's uh, really amazing, I think. And I think, um, I hope and she will she want to join for the next meeting. Thank you. Anyone else? Great. Yes, Zana from Pakistan. Um, uh, I have a question with you, uh, James. Uh, basically, like uh, sometimes I have an issue that I can't join your classes because we have in Pakistan here electricity issue, like power failure. So, do you have the recording of whatever these classes people are uh, the teachers are teaching? Yeah, so just, yeah, just. we do. We have the classes are recorded. The children's class is not recorded, but the adults class is recorded. Um, it is being live streamed into YouTube. And Ahmed, please uh, share the YouTube link for the group and you can go there and watch um, the, uh, let me, the classes were being recorded in Facebook. So for maybe the last month, there's um, classes in Facebook recordings, but starting like yesterday and today, the classes are in uh, YouTube. So you can go and look at the recordings there. Thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. Anyone else?
Hello, this is Bubak from Niger. Go ahead, Bubak from Niger. Yeah, so I I just uh, jump in, so I have to listen and to to catch what topic is talking. Yeah, so you don't have yeah, you don't have to. Like you could bring your own topic. Or you could listen and see what other people are talking about. Great. Which, yeah. what do you want to do? So, <laughs> so I prefer uh, listening to what people talk about and after, you know. Then go ahead and listen. Great. My idea. Yeah. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anybody want to join Rindu on that great energy she brought in? Maybe other parents who were with their uh, kids want to talk about what their experience was like. Yes, this is Fatima from Iran. It was an amazing class. I was sitting beside my daughter, but she doesn't feel comfortable to open the camera. And she confused by speaking Persian and English when she wants she want to say yes. She says, Are, and then... Mm, it's uh, the first time for him that for her that listen to a, a English completely speech uh, in English and uh, was difficult for him but uh, she was for her she was excited by this class and um, I feel she will um, be more interested in future. And thank you so much for your nice class. I enjoyed really. <laughs> thank Great. you. Great. You're welcome. Say anyone hello? else? Yeah. Who, who said hello? Who said hello? Munmi. Uh, this is uh, Aso. No, Aso. Go ahead, Aso. Yes. Um, we're talking about the difference between teaching and dealing with kids uh, in school and uh, teaching the adults and the difference um, between uh, those two uh, groups. Uh, so I see that uh, those kids need uh, more um, uh, control over them throughout the uh, class, throughout the lesson period. And uh, we have, uh, as a teacher, we have uh, to uh, make shift from one technique to another to um, see what uh, each one of them need uh, to deal with. Uh, in contrast with the uh, adults, uh, they don't need that much uh, of paying uh, attention because they can't take uh, over the lesson by themselves. Most of the uh, activities is during uh, uh, the lesson period. Uh, so uh, I see that um, teaching uh, kids um, is kind of uh, tiresome uh, for uh, the teachers. Uh, it makes a burden to uh, focus on what you are saying and explaining to them and giving more maybe instructions and disciplines because uh, they, they are still uh, can't get um, uh, much of what you uh, want to from them. Uh, so they need uh, more focus. Um, uh, on the other hand, uh, the adults don't need that uh, much um, uh, effort to uh, explain the materials to them or even um, uh, to give them uh, certain um, instructions because they they are uh, taking these instructions in the, the uh, years before and they got uh, kind of discipline uh, before um, reaching this level you are teaching them. Um, so uh, this is what I get. You're thinking about the differences for the teacher, how what um, is required for the teacher to consider that the, for the adults it's less, um, energy required to get them to participate or to stay active and uh, following, whereas the kids, you feel the teacher needs to spend more energy to keep them engaged. Yes, example. Anyone okay. else? Anyone Hello? else? I don't know, Mo Moonmi, were you gonna say something? Yes. Oh, yeah, today um, I was about to uh, share my uh, opinion about this uh, children's uh, system. Yeah. So my daughter enjoyed it, and I'm no. happy. No, <laughs> because I never thought she knew some term. And the way you started picture uh, reading, 
I didn't know some uh, term I mean she might know, but she uh, replied it. So I'm happy with that. And also she has learned some uh, new term. And I hope which time she will communicate more. <laughs> I'm happy at least she tried to communicate today. So thank you. Great. You're welcome. This is Murad. I just Go have ahead, a quick question. Uh, I don't know if um, if you have any recorded uh, video for the kids' English classes so that I can provide it to the parents who uh, didn't attend it today so that they can know exactly what is the method and the techniques that yeah. you are implementing in your yeah. classes. So, so we no, there's no recording. And in the if, if you're a parent and you want to talk about having a recording just for the parents and families, you can talk about that in the Discord channel for the children's classes. You can start to discuss that and see if other parents are comfortable having a, a recording that's just for the parents. Okay, would you do that, Murad? Or, I mean, you could do that here if you wanted. You could um, start that conversation here. But no, to answer your question, there's no recording of today's class. Well, honestly, from my own side, I would say it's better not, not to, to make our uh, kids' English class recorded just to uh, preserve their privacy. And uh, I'm just wanting, uh, I'm just asking for this time only because they 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 missed the first class. And, it will, and I think if, it will be much better for them, you know, to know exactly what's the process that you are taking. But anyways, uh, no problem. Okay, I'm no, gonna. Well, have yeah. Okay, you have a, you have, you're, you're actually bringing in a, a you have a conflict because you have both. You want there to be a recording. You think it would be useful, yeah, and you for also, one time. I, I ask it. I ask for it just only for this time because well, there is a lot, a huge well, number Murad, of students who missed the first class. Is you're still bringing in? You are bringing in two different things at the that are to, that are opposites, right? So I'm just saying, you choose one. You, 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 you can't go left and right at the same time. So either, the, the fact is there's no recording. So either you want recordings, you want one recording that can be given to parents if they don't come and they know the techniques, or you wanna protect the children's privacy and just opt for no recordings, but you can't have both. You see that, right? Uh, actually, just to clarify my point, I only requested for a, a recorded video I, no, no Murad, class, Murad, only. no, Murad, I want you to tell me what I said, because you're not, I don't think no, there is a misunderstanding. I really understand what you came with. You uh, keep you that, saying, no, well, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you thought that I'm asking uh, to have the kids' English classes to be recorded the whole time. No, actually, I'm no, asking no, for that no, for the first no, one. Only. If there is any no, copy, I'm not, no, no, I'm not saying that, Murad. So you're not, this is what, I, what I'm saying. This no, I, I'm Murad. Saying. I don't care what you're saying right now because I'm trying to tell you something. See, we can only talk one at a time. Either I'm going to talk or you're going to talk. Which is it? Yeah, go ahead, please. So if you if you want me to go ahead, I would like you to listen to me. I said you're bringing in two things at the same time, either having a recording or protecting the kids' privacy, and you can't have both. Can you tell me what I said? You said that I came with two suggestions. And the first one that I need to protect the privacy of uh, the children. And at the same time, I'm asking for a recorded uh, video. So I'm asking, uh, what I, and, just to clarify and, my question. And they're opposites. <laughs> yeah, and they are opposites. So I'm only asking if they're a copy that you have for the first class that is recorded from your side so that I can share it to the parents. But from Murad. my own perspective, I believe that it's better uh, that we will have uh, a kid's English classes that is not recorded. So uh, I don't know what's the situation, but no problem. In the end of the day, well, uh, Murad, I'm so uh, actually I'm so upset, you know, that I missed the class. Ah, the truth comes out. Yeah, because you 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 gave ah, me the, the, the correct. <laughs> the you truth provided comes out. me the, the, oh. the wrong uh, time, but I, in the end of the day, yes. I appreciate your efforts. Yes, I really I'm happy, Murad. I'm happy to take responsibility for that. So you're disappointed that you missed the class. Yes, because there is a, a, a large number of parents who were waiting me to send them the Murad, link. Murad, I informed them that forget, Murad, forget already missed. Murad, forget the because. Yeah. We know the because. You're upset. You're disappointed that you missed the class. That's the key. 
Yes. No, absolutely. Let me say uh, disappointed. Much disappointed. better. Disappointed. Disappointed. Sure. Yes. Sure. It is disappointing when we have a misunderstanding. It's disappointing and frustrating when we have a misunderstanding. And the misunderstanding has an impact on us. That's part of what is so frustrating about not being able to communicate effectively and as clearly as we do in our native language. And even in our native language, we can have misunderstandings that are frustrating. So even more so when we are learning a new language. I, I, I'll just tell you, uh, yesterday or two days ago, uh, when I was teaching um, group here locally, they, you know, someone said, James, you just don't understand how difficult it is. I try to go to the doctor. I can't speak English. The doctor is speaking to me too quickly. It's horrible. You don't understand. And um, maybe it's true. Maybe I don't understand. But I do know that it is very frustrating to have the inability to communicate the inability to communicate clearly and to then have real impacts on your life when you're, you know, when you really need to communicate and you can't. And that's then things like this happen. You make a mistake about the time. Maybe you have a job interview. You need to be there at the right time. You didn't find out what time it is for some reason, right? You don't have to blame yourself, but it is disappointing and frustrating. That I can that I can understand. And I would suggest here, what you do is you get a subgroup. Maybe there are other people who can connect to, I don't know, maybe there are other people here who didn't make, to, make it to the class also for other reasons. I know there's at least one. I don't know if she's here. Go ahead, Rindu. I just want to add some more information to the, uh, uh, the parents who missed the class today just make sure that you know that next saturday at 12 uh, utc the another kids class uh, with games will be held and i just want to tell to them that well as a parent uh, which um, also joined with a games class for adult i'm a little bit surprised how uh, james um, manage uh, to teach the children and well it's uh, yeah uh, to the teacher uh, to the yeah. parents make sure that it will be uh, amazing and very um worth see for the children to join with uh, James class next week just make, to make sure that even though you miss it today uh, just make sure that uh, next next week you join it. Okay, uh, anyone else? Sorry, sorry, teacher. I had just one minute. I came lately. Can you, would you please tell uh, what is the topic? Just one sentence, not more. About this is, this is Fredun from Iran. Fredun, we're talking about Children's English classes, kids' English classes. Online classes or physical classes, you mean? Oh, I gave you one line and here comes the questioning. Online Please? classes. Okay, online class. Okay, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Anyone else? Yeah, Hello? this is Murad. Just to end, uh, just to end my, uh, my comment here, you know, uh, it's, it's beautiful, you know, to hear a good uh, a feedback from the parents that they enjoyed, and they uh, they saw, you know, um, attainable uh, classes coming from you, Mr. James. So I'm gonna make sure that coming week we will attend the, the, in the correct time, and um, mistakes could happen in time. So it is what it is. Thank you so much. At the end of the day, and um, waiting for the coming session. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sure, it's true. Hello. Mistakes happen. Hello. Go ahead. Aso. Yes. Remind uh, me from Iraq. Yes, okay. exactly. Uh, talking about the um, me methods of uh, teaching um, 
uh, each group uh, that you uh, you will figure out that um, the uh, kids uh, are uh, should uh, the kids uh, classes should be um, uh, short in its period and um, more focused on uh, one task or two maybe um, uh, do not um, um, taking uh, a long time because they will uh, get uh, tired uh, quickly as they are uh, kids and not uh, adults. Uh, uh, beside that, uh, the uh, classes should be uh, more fascinating and uh, carries uh, fun and enjoyment to those kids um, in contrast with those adults. Um, uh, the, their materials uh, got uh, more knowledge and uh, take uh, a long uh, time period because uh, they are mature enough and the, um, the uh, age of uh, those uh, students would be different with those uh, kids. So uh, taking a long uh, time period to explain um, uh, such a material would be um, uh, correct for them as uh, their uh, age, uh, it is suitable for their uh, age and uh, stages as well. Um, uh, another thing is that the motivation, I will talk uh, about the kids will be uh, less motivated than uh, those adults because um, they find themselves that uh, there's no choice, just uh, following uh, the uh, programs of, of their schools. Um, uh, they uh, are just like obliged to do so. And ne negative prediction, negative prediction. Hold on, Aso. So you have you have an idea that the children will be less motivated. Yes. And the reason is because they have to follow the school program. Exactly. Now, do you know that? You might be right. Just because they they don't know uh, the real aim of studying. Ah. And maybe if they, if they know from their parents, they would uh, not take it seriously because they are kids. And okay. their mindset would be different from the adults to getting the, the knowledge and the information uh, from uh, the... Uh, you, yeah. one you, who's, uh, yes. you, you have a You have a prediction or a mind read that the children don't take it seriously. Exactly. Yes. Because their mindset is different. And they, it is not matured enough to, to decide whether it is uh, um, a good thing or not. That is why we find most of the kids hating uh, or hate uh, schools uh, in general. They find it just like a burden to wake up in the morning and go to school and they don't know their uh, uh, benefits uh, exactly from going yeah. to school. Now, yes. we don't have, as far as I know, we don't have any kids here to ask them if that's true. <laughs> if, yeah, if, right. there, if there was a kid here, maybe you could ask them. Do you hate school? Do yeah, you take, my kids do so. You can, you, okay, yeah. So you ask your kids and your kids hate school. And they, <laughs> maybe you ask them if they take it seriously. And I don't know what they say, but maybe they don't take it seriously. They don't like it. They are just following my rules no more. They hate, actually, they hate waking up in the morning and going to school. This is Great. a burden for them. This they is the, the main problem. Uh huh. They follow your rules. They don't like it. They don't like to get up. They don't like to. It's a burden for them. And how about mm -hmm. you? How about you, Esso? How do you like getting them to follow your rules? I try uh, as much as possible to um, explain um, the uh, benefit of uh, being oh, clever and that's, uh, active that's for them. That's a horrible idea. Don't do that. Why? Oh, because explaining something and having your experience are two totally different things. If you notice, I asked you about your experience. I said, how do you feel having them follow your instructions? And if you notice, you didn't answer my question. You said, oh, well, I tell them why they need to do what they need to do, blah, blah, blah. You have your explanation about why they must do it. But that's totally different than your experience 
of having them follow your rules and your instructions. Can you tell but me what I to. can you tell me what I said? Yes. You mean that I didn't get uh, the uh, exact point of replying to your answer, uh, replying to your uh, question, sorry. So uh, uh, I should say that I, maybe I feel heavy or I feel upset of doing that. And so on. Mm -hmm. You mean uh, to, uh, uh, talking so? about my exact uh, so? feeling, right? uh, so, uh, Close. It's true. I, I'm curious about your experience because you're the one here. I'm not working with your children, I'm working with you. And you have an experience that you're describing with your kids, you're describing, and of course you do. They are your children. You care about them, I imagine. Your, your job as a parent is to help them come into the world and do things, go to school, maybe do things that they don't want to do. But you are still a person, a separate person than them, and you have your experience, and I don't know what it is. And that's what we work on here. You could find out what it's like to be a parent, to ask your children to do things they don't wanna do, but you believe, and maybe correctly, that they must do it. Anyway, yes. In other way, I, I can. Can you tell me uh, what I, I said? Can you tell me what I said, Aso? Yes, you are saying that. I'm um, just uh, telling the kids what they have to do and what they don't have to do. It is not what exactly you want to hear from me. Maybe not the uh, uh, exact. Aso, slow yeah. down. Slow down. I am telling. It's true. I'm telling you what I do want to hear from you. And I'm telling you about how I work, which is I'm asking you about you, your, your experience doing, being a parent or being a teacher of children, asking someone, a child to do something they don't wanna do because you, because that's your job as a parent or as a teacher, your job may be to set a boundary and say, I understand you want to eat ice cream for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but it is my job to make sure you also have some healthy food. So I'm telling you, no, you will not eat ice cream for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm going to make sure that you eat some real food. Or I understand you want to play video games all day long, but it is my job to make sure you do something else. Maybe you will study some parts, you know, do some homework, maybe play outside, right? That's your job, your, your job. And then I'm asking you, Aso, what is it like to do your job? Because you're telling me about the kid's experience, but I want to know about your experience because you're the one here. Can you tell me what I said? Yes, you want to know uh, uh, me, because my experience with them and not uh, the exact reaction of those kids from treating them like that and making them uh, follow my rules. So what do I feel when I give instructions to others? Is that, is that yes. right? Yes, because yes. That's, that's the place where you have agency. Yes, this is uh, because it is my uh, role as a mother and a teacher to do so. So I feel uh, kind of upset sometimes from doing so because I'm just imposing those kids to do so. Even if I create a kind of encouragement uh, by saying that you will get a present or a gift from me if you get a high mark in that uh, lesson, if he's a week in such a material. But it is not uh, a good um, thing or a good feeling uh, to give instructions to uh, any group of people. I hate doing that. Uh, so? but I feel that uh, I'm obliged to. Slow down, slow down. Now, you said two different things. You said you feel upset doing it and yes. you, you believe you have to do it. Now, those, exactly. I, those are two different things, but yes. we, could, we could look at them differently. Yes, you feel upset doing it asking someone to do something they don't want to do and you don't like 
to give rewards or punishment for doing it. You said, you know, you could give them, say, well, if you do, if you go to school and do your studies, I will give you a present. But you also don't like to do that, which makes sense. No, I, I like encouraging others. You, even you my like, students. Oh, even you like my to, kids. okay. You like to encourage them. Yes. Okay. Anyone else? We, or, or do you yeah, got say, anyone yeah, yeah, else? say anyone else. Go. Let's see. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Hello. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Who said hello? Yeah. This is Bubak again. Okay. Bubak from Niger. Hold on. We'll go for Azita from Iran, then Bubak. Go ahead, Azita. Okay. Okay. My experience as a mom about motivation uh, for children and about learning new language or everything. Uh, I have uh, this experience when uh, we encouragement some our children uh, to do some activity. We have to define that activity for them. We have to um, draw some perspective about that. Why they have to learn it? Why and why they need it? When we define that in good way and give some good perspective to them for why they have to do it. And the first step is very important. We do it in good manner. For example, if I uh, want to say my son, you have to learn uh, English uh, language because it's international language is necessary for you and uh, for your um, uh, future is the uh, um, kind of um, needs for you. I have to learn it at the first step myself. Yeah, I have to show him. I, I, I'm trying to do my best. I'm trying to learn this language as an international language. Then. He follow me because he know um, he knows my mom in this age. Uh, uh, he, she know it's uh, important. Then I have to follow because she because he can me he can see me and after that uh, he follow me he follows me yeah for this reason I think it's it's um, important we have to um, be friend with our children and uh, show them why why it's necessary for them in activity for example when i saw when i want to say my son you have to do exercise every day i have to do it just saying it's not enough yeah uh, he have to he has to see uh, as, uh, i as a mom as a uh, his mom follow this routine every day. Every day I'm working out. Then he knows it's necessary for our health, for any activity, like brushing your teeth, you are taking showers, you are, uh, even uh, learning new things, even doing assignment in um, homework and something like that is necessary. We show them it's, it's for the, them, they're successful. It's, it's kind of needs for their future. After that, when he, when them um, when they see something, it's uh, very good for them for their future and even sometimes needs. For example, learning new language, I expose my son in some position. For example, in some strange person and say go and play with them. And if Azita, yeah, may I, may I jump in? Yes. So you're speaking a little bit quickly and a little bit long. It might be getting to the point where it's hard for people to follow you. Would you like to see where you are at with people from what you've already said? I think you've made your point and you might have more luck ending sooner rather than later. Would you like to try it? Yeah. Okay, I, I'm trying to uh, speak less, slowly, yeah? <laughs> now, now I've, I, so I've understood your idea for motivating, encouraging, and teaching children, your children, is to be a good role model, to be a role model for the activities that you want them to know are important. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So I have to everything I want to say my son at the first step I have to do them yeah as a role model uh -huh. I, I have to I have to put he, uh, he um, in some position for connection for example sometimes I uh, see some games and I, I, I um, um, suggest some games uh, to him for uh, gaming and I told him 
um, you can connect with this game because its language is English language. And if uh, he can't, I say, okay, it needs you improve your language because you would like uh, play this game. And in real world, sometimes I expose him in some position, play with some stranger, they speak in English language, okay? And say, it's your responsibility, connect with this kind of people if you would like play with uh, them. And at that situation, he can understand, oh, I can't uh, connect with them. Then it's necessary for me learn this uh, language and follow my dream for uh, learning this language because it's necessary for me. In this kind of uh, every um, situation, Azita, you say, yeah. Azita, so you show him the connection between what you'd like him to be doing and why it might, or and what and what he'd like to be doing, and the value of the activity for what his goals are. Playing a game exactly. in this case, okay. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, for everything, when we want our, our children follow it, we have to show them some perspective and we have to define some needs there. Why? Why they have to follow this? Why they have to learn this? If they uh, convince about them, be sure they follow that uh, rule, that um, instruction, something like that. Yeah, that's it. it. As a parent, as a mom, it works for me in many situations. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Anyone else? Bubak? Yeah. Thank you, Bubak, uh, again. So I want to ask uh, a question uh, for those who are experimenting teaching children. Uh, so what uh, is how difficult maybe sometimes is it for a children who, you know, uh, don't speak uh, uh, the language maybe at home? It's always at school. How difficult it is for him to to um, to learn very fast and uh, for just uh, I think about uh, two few hours that he receive at school. How difficult is it for him to to learn? You're asking parents. Bismillah. Pardon. You're asking teachers with experience teaching children how difficult it is for children to learn. Is that right? Ubak? Ubak, are you there? You muted? Okay, uh, Bubak, I don't know if you're still with us, but um, back to the group. And again, in about eight minutes, I'm going to be uh, passing over to Fatima for her intermediate beginner grammar class. Hello, this is Amatul Noor. Amatul Noor from Sri Lanka? Yes. Great, go ahead. I'd like to share my experience. Um, I'm an undergraduate English learner and this is my, I'm, I'm in my training as a teacher in school. So this is my first time teaching in school. I have uh, completed two months teaching in school. So I have one request. Uh, what if I joined a teacher's uh, committee as well as uh, just to take the experience as a teacher? You would like to become a teacher in this group? You're a teacher. You're an undergraduate student studying teaching and you're interested to be a teacher in this group. Is that right? Yes. And, yes. and I want to add one more thing that uh, the thing is, um, I won't be able to come on, come in front of the camera and teach. Instead of that, I can give my ideas and I can provide um, teaching ideas and ways. Is that okay? You said you, you won't be able to come on camera, but you'd like to just present your ideas with your voice. Yes. Um, I, would, would you like to talk to other people here or would you like to hear the, my answer? Um, 
Um, I'll give you my answer and then you can. Yeah. Yeah. So um, you can teach in the group. Anybody can teach. You just let us know and then schedule one hour and you can uh, teach. Uh, We pay $15 an hour. If you'd like to receive money for the teaching, Uh, if you don't have your camera on right now, we're not paying people who don't have their camera on, but you can still teach as a volunteer and see how it goes. Would you like to try that? Yeah, sure. I would like to try that. Yeah. So you could join the Discord group. You can connect with uh, one of the members of the teaching coordination team, which is Nelly from Germany, Claudette from Mexico, Ahmed from Syria. They're all um, helping to coordinate teachers and schedule teacher classes. So would you do that? Yes, sure. Thank you so okay. much for the consideration. You're welcome. Say anyone else, Amathul. Anyone else? Hello. Oh, you're back, Bubak from yeah, Nigeria. I'm back, I'm back. Um, I'm very, uh, I'm apologize because uh, I were talking with uh, someone. You were talking to somebody else? Yeah. Okay. So I want to get maybe if an uh, answer is uh, available for my uh, uh, question. Well, we had a change in topic, not a topic, but there was another person who spoke in between. So you might want to raise your question again. Okay, so uh, I ask it, uh, how how difficult is it for uh, a children who uh, English is not his, uh, his language and he learn only maybe uh, at school or online? How difficult is it for him to to learn fast? How difficult is it for children to learn online or in person? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hello? Uh, In this group, it's better to say your name rather than hello. Aso from Iraq. Yes. Uh, I guess he uh, uh, should give that kid uh, as long as he's uh, using the uh, he's studying uh, online. So he's supposed to have uh, even a laptop, an iPad, or uh, even his uh, mobile phone, so he can connect uh, easily to the internet. So um, uh, the, there are uh, specific uh, uh, and different uh, uh, programs for uh, kids teaching uh, on YouTube. Uh, he uh, can just uh, decide the uh, age of uh, the uh, set the age uh, of uh, the kids and see what uh, kind of programs are suitable for him to, uh, to teach him uh, or teach her um, uh, on his uh, uh, spare time um, at home. So now, before hold that, on, yes, hold and on, doing that every One day. Second. Yes. One second. So okay. uh, there is a conversation taking place in chat, and that may be a really interesting conversation. Someone is talking about something, um, sound, you know, seems quite personal to me, and I would hate to lose that. So I hate to interrupt you, Aso, but I'm kind of just naming that it's being, it, it, it's happening already. And, and my job in this group is to kind of point out what is happening so that the group has a choice about what it does does it kind of ignore pieces that come up? Do people kind of want to put what they're bringing into the group in a way where the group doesn't get it or only kind of partially gets it? It's um, So you should uh, t- take over uh, control, you mean, in different ways here? No, it's not so much about taking control. Uh, it, you know, I cannot force people to talk. So I don't even try. However, however, I can point out when somebody is partially coming in, right? Uh, I talk about the difference between talking about something and doing it. And writing in the chat is for me an example of doing something rather than talking about it. Because really, 
this call is for talking. It's not a, it's not a text. It's not a text. It's not a text meeting. Yes. It's a, it's a voice and video meeting. So if things are coming into the chat, it's a little bit different than what is going, like what I'm inviting people to do here. So that's why I point it out when it's happening because it's relevant. It will take the energy of the group partially elsewhere. Exactly. So it is not the, uh, the suitable place to share text uh, where they can share it on the group of the WhatsApp. Can you tell uh, me what I said also? Yes, you are saying that there are certain people who are just sharing with texting and it is, uh, we are here uh, just to share, uh, uh, expressing our ideas by using our voice. Yes. Uh, not texting. Yes. And also, so when somebody, we, we talk one person at a time, the way I work is we talk one person at a time. And if two people are talking at the same time, it doesn't matter voice and text, if two people are talking at the same time, the attention of the group suddenly is split in half. Distracted. It's, it's split in half. It's, it's not really distracted because it's happening in here. It's right. So Murad is right. Sometimes when it happens, it's totally um, right. Murad says, so beautiful, Nayan. Yes. yes. Keep it. So they would be, oh, uh, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right. So okay. do you see if I start reading what's happening, I am now moving away from us. So uh, you keep it up. This is life. It's all about fighting and struggling against our negative emotions. Not not yet. I'm not going to read it, but you can only do attention can only be in one place at one time. So um, it's a choice for the group is really what I'm saying. It my time is up. My my time is up. I'm going to end my class here. I will continue teaching one hour later, but for now, at least, I'm passing it over to Fatima. Uh, thanks, okay. everybody. Over to you, Fatima. We want to thank you as well, James, for your You're welcome, great Aso. efforts. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hope you are doing great today. Uh, we're going to to talk about a grammar, maybe related to a pre-intermediate or intermediate level. And it's about passive voice and active voice. Uh, before we start learning, um, I'm gonna share a video, a short video about five minutes only on this topic. And let me try if I can share it on my laptop otherwise ahmed will help me to share it hello sorry uh, to interrupt unfortunately I yes hello please yes ahmed would you please yeah. share um, the video in five minute video please uh, this uh, moment can i quickly ask the admins here about one point is it forbidden to text while you guys doing the teaching process? So I couldn't really understand Mr. Um, James, what he was referring to. Is it unallowed to, to text in yeah. the... Is it unallowed to text in the chat while you are teaching? Are you talking to James or me? I'm talking to, to the admins in general, so so I understand the situation. I'm asking yeah, you, Ahmed. I think... Because yeah. I couldn't understand James. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Murad, do you hear Okay, me? It, it's not forbidden, but uh, it's better to not talk when people are engaging in talking something else, uh, when people, again, uh, chat in the chat box, so their kind of distraction happen so it's divided two parts in one class that that's I, what i get from mr james okay thank you i just wanted to, okay. to get that clarification thank you fatima do you hear me thank do you see my screen yes okay this yes, video I see. what do you want to fly yes this video yes okay. yeah i want to play it first for five minutes and then we will do a little bit exercise. I will 
two exercises together and I, I will explain okay. on this. I topic. play the video now. Yes. Sorry, I okay. have a question uh, from you guys. Teacher, and uh, who is, uh, has experience? Uh, hold on, please. Please, okay. uh, let's watch this video first, okay. and then I will answer your question, and we can talk together about whatever you want. Okay, just, just five minutes. Thank you. Talking about an old farmhouse in the country and describing it. And they were using some interesting language, which I want to teach you now. Let me give you some examples of what they said. Uh, Sandra said that the farmhouse was built by a rich Italian American, was built by. Now that grammatical form is called the passive. We're going to study that now. But other examples, Paolo said, yes, it was designed by a Dutch architect. It was designed. He said, it's built. It is built in the style of an 18th century Tuscan farmhouse. The passive, that's what I want to look at with you now. We'll go to the screen so that you can see how the construction works. It is actually quite simple because you need to take the verb to be in the necessary tense, whether it's past, present, or future. And then you add the past participle of the main verb. Okay, so that is the grammatical form. When do we use the passive? We use the passive when it's more important, the action which is happening and not the person doing it. Let me give you an example, try and make it clear. Um, and look at, look at the screen now where we can combine the things. This is a magazine. Now, I want to talk about the magazine in the present. And there are various things that I can say. For example, this magazine is published in the United Kingdom. Is published, the verb to be plus the past participle. Other things that we can say about it. The articles are written, are written by top writers. Now, notice that if you want to actually mention the people doing the object, the, the action, you use by. So these articles are written by top writers, okay, top journalists. Another example, it's delivered worldwide. It's delivered worldwide. There again, we don't know by who, but it's not important in this case. It's the action which is important. So that's in the present, using the verb to be uh, in the present form is, are. Let's move on to the past tense now and take these shoes. We can say about these shoes, these shoes were made in Italy, okay? These shoes were made. Notice that the verb to be is in the past and it's plural because it's two shoes. So not was made, but were made. These shoes were made in Italy. The other examples are they were designed by a top designer and only a limited number were produced. All right, so the verb to be plus the past participle. Then if you think about the future, you can put the verb to be in the future and let's think about a film that uh, uh, has some perspective that is going to be made in the future. Let's look at how we use that in the passive form. The film is going to be set in America. Now that's a bit more complicated. The verb to be goes into the future, but it's an intentional future. So it becomes the film is going to be set, means filmed, in Russia. 
it's going to be directed by Spike Lee. Now here, the information Spike Lee is important. So we add by, it's going to be directed by Spike Lee. And it's going to be released next summer. Released, taken to the cinemas next summer. So that's the passive form. As you can see, if you know the verb to be very well in all the different tenses, past, present, and future, it's not difficult. And it's actually not different in English to many other languages. All right? So that's the passive. See you again next lesson. Bye. Yes, this is passive voice. First says active voice and now um, we have a PDF file, please Ahmed share it because I couldn't find it. I don't know how to share it here. The PDF file will be shared. And now who can explain about passive voice and active voice literally what does it mean when it comes to sentence? Uh, this is someone volunteer. Yes, please, Monmi. Oh, maybe I think I should give chance to intermediate. I'll speak later. Fatima, do you hear me? No, you can. You can this explain. Is also... Yes, Ahmed. Do you see the screen now? Uh, this is. Um... Yes, thank you. Good. Yes, Ahmed. Uh, yes, uh, Hassan, sorry. You Do you want to. Okay. Say yeah, uh, yes. you ask you ask the difference between active and passive voice. Um, and the meaning, it, literally, why we call it passive or active here in this. Yeah, okay. passive. It's passive because uh, the action or object is more important than the subject. That's why we are calling it yes. passive voice. That's it. Thank you. Exactly. Yes. Thank you. Uh, voice actually is a form that verb take to show whether the subject of a verb performed the action or received the action. Uh, here we have a sentence, Chef Pananka prepares the meal. Here, this subject, Chef is subject, prepare is verb and the meal is object. So this calls active voice. If you want to change it to passive voice, we have to change the position of subjects. So the meal put in the first place at the, at the subject position here. And you see that here chef do something or does something actively, but the meal doesn't do anything actively. The meal receive or the subject here receive the action. It takes the action. It doesn't do anything, right? But in the active sentence, chef as a subject doing something actively. And the emphasis, emphasis here is on the doer or performer. But in the second sentence here in passive sentence, the emphasis is on the uh, action actually, not on the doer or performer. Okay, now I wanna ask you another question. Is it possible to change all the sentence to passive, sense, passive voice or not? Who want to answer me? I Is don't think. Yes. I, I, yes. I think, yeah, I think in some position we can't uh, do these changes. Yeah. Mm, do you know in which? position or when we cannot change. I mean, is it possible for all of the verbs, main verb, to change to passive voice or not? Just some kind of verb. No, just kind of. This is, just this is Oscar. Can, can, I, can I respond this question? Yes, Sorry. Uh, hold on, hold on, Oscar. First, as it have finished, and then you, you will explain. Sure. Yes? Just those verbs, uh, they can accept the object, yeah? They can yes, accept. Some of words. Do you know which kind of verbs? Which kind of verbs can take, can change to passive voice? Yeah. Okay, Oscar. 
Okay, it's just a, a matter of uh, terminology. It doesn't matter too much. Just uh, it's a specific topic in linguistic, and we were, we wanna discuss here about it. Okay, Oscar, will you explain? What kind of birds Hello, can everyone. one change to passive? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. This is Oscar. Yeah, I am from this Guinea. Happy to be here today once again. Oh, well, actually, there are some verbs do not uh, contain on passive voice, such as verb love, prefer, and the chat. And many of them did not follow the rules. You cannot put them on the passive voice. Yes, they are. That's all. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Azisa and Oscar. There are Yes, Hassan, please. Okay. Go ahead. In English, in English, we have some intransitive verbs. Uh, so these type of verbs can uh, never turn into passive, uh, like uh, sit, exactly. talk, disappear. I can give you sleep, for example. Yes. Uh, these verbs um, in, uh, are known as intransitive verbs. So when we face with these a verb yes. in a sentence. So in this case, we cannot turn active sentence into a passive voice. That's it. Thank you. That's right. Thank you. Yes, we can divide the verbs in two parts, transitive verb and intransitive verb. So now what transitive verb and what intransitive verb? The transitive verb is a verb that can take direct object or and indirect object together. But intransitive verb is a verb that cannot take a direct object. It just maybe just can take an indirect object, but not a direct object. So uh, I want to give you an example. I go to school every day. Go is a verb here. So can you tell me go is a transitive verb or intransitive verb? Intransitive verb. Intransitive. Intransitive. So how did you understand that the, some, we don't have direct object here? And how you, you recognize this is intransitive verb? Is, is it any way to recognize it? Because there is no need object, direct object or indirect object for these sentences, for complete this sentence. Yes. Mm. You are right. I go to a school. So what's the, the function or for to school in this sentence? Is it a direct object or indirect object? Or what is it? OK, we don't need to discuss about the, these things now. I think it's better to move on. And uh, next uh, slide, please, Ahmed. Excuse me, that's okay. Yes, yes. So after recognizing that this verb is transitive or intransitive, I want to tell you just maybe it helps for recognizing the direct object, we can ask two questions, who and what. For example, who do you go to school? Does it make sense or not? What do you go to school? Does it make sense or not? If it doesn't make sense, it's it, intransitive verb, but I eat an apple every day. What do you eat every day, an apple? I go to school, for example, with Anna. With whom do you go to school? It makes sense. If you ask question by who and what, and it makes sense in your sentence, then uh, the object is direct object, and the verb is transitive verb, and you can change this sentence to passive. But if it doesn't make sense, then it's intransitive verb and we cannot change it to passive voice. Okay, passive voice construction or, or a structure include form of be. We have different form of be in different tense, like present, past, future, continuous or progressive tense and perfect tense plus past participle Past participle is called verb three as well. And you know, for making a 
past participle, sometimes we add ed at the end of the verb and we call it regular verb. And sometimes, no, it's irregular, a regular verb. And we don't add ed. And the, the form of verb completely changed. Uh, we have uh, an example here where returned. This is a passive voice of where. Or sometimes we have other helping verbs or auxiliary verbs. Helping verbs, um, we can say auxiliary verbs, like for example, will, would, can, could, may, might. Like this verb, uh, plus form of uh, be, different form of be in different person and different tense. When I'm saying person, it means singular or plural. Is it singular, first person, second person, third person, or it's plural, and plus past participle. Have been returned, or for example, will be returned, or for example, am being returning. So we have uh, other example in the next slide. Next slide, please. Ahmad, yes, thank you. Yeah, again, another example. Passive voice is formed by making the object of sentence into the subject of sentence. Here, the tiger fights John. Tiger is doing something, is the actor, is the doer, is the performer. And this sentence is active. But the next sentence, John is beaten by the tiger. John take an action and the action is beaten. And the tiger is not important here. The emphasis is on the John and the receiver the action. And we call it by phrase at the end of the sentence. It's by phrase or prepositional phrase. And sometimes we don't mention it because it's not necessary to say by whom it happened, uh, or maybe sometimes we don't want to say that because it's not polite, maybe sometimes because of pol politics or newspaper it happened. And in science, we use passive voice mostly because the doer, the performer is not important to mention or maybe shouldn't be mentioned. And emphasis is uh, just on the uh, receiver actually. Okay, next slide, please. Okay. In this page, we see some different time tense of passive voice. For example, we have um, sim simple present or present progressive, and we have the same pattern for all of the time. The, the difference is only on to be verb, on be verb, and the past participle doesn't change. Non C makes T, T is object, now it changed to the subject position. T now is here in the second sentence. T is subject here, and the emphasis is on the T as a subject. And how we can make the verb, okay, makes is singular, and it's present tense, so we need is, because is is present tense and it's singular, and make, the verb tree of make is made. He is made by Nancy, by phrase here. We can mention it or just skip it. If you wanna um, add some more information, we can say by Nancy or it's not necessary. And the other tense is making, is being made. The other one, made, changed to, because made is past tense, the past tense of to be verb is was, and made is the verb tree, was made. Yes, please scroll down. Yes. And was made is a passive, passive voice. The other was making is present 
continuous present, continuous past tense, sorry, what is the same, don't change, making because there's ing form, so we have to use being, b plus ing, being, and then verb three, made, was being made. The other tense has made, which is present, perfect. Has doesn't change, just has, then, because it's a perfect tense, we need been, been, and then made. Yes? Move on, please. Finish? Yes. And had made, which is past perfect. Again, had is the same been because it's perfect tense and made. Now it's future tense, will make. Will, after will, we need a simple tense or we need main verb and be is the main verb. So will, which is auxiliary verb here, plus be plus made verb three will be made. Next example, will have made, which is future perfect. Will have been made. Will have is the same, doesn't change. And then we add been because we want to show the perfect tense. Would make, would is an auxiliary verb, would be. After would, we need main verb, simple verb would be made. Yes, scroll down, scroll up again. Yes. Can make, can, auxiliary verb, we need a simple verb, can be made. Yes. Thank you. Okay, if you have a question, before we start doing some exercise, you can ask, uh, and if you want to, if someone wants to summarize about what you learned till this moment, please go ahead and then we have some exercise. You can just uh, start talking and, uh, or you, you can raise your hand. It's better to just say your name and answer this question, number one, two, and we have um, some question for practice. Okay. Kadra Sen is speaking. I would yes, like to please. give the answer of first one. Her friend gave her a book. A book was given by her friend. Yes, a book. What well, gave a is book. a past tense, so we need a was was, was because was yeah. is past form. Was given. Given is the verb three. A book was her, given her by her, her friend. By, yeah. Yes. No, no, not to her. Her a book was given her by her friends. Okay, her friend. thank you, great. Next number, number two. They offered him a job, a job another, was... Another person, another one, please, another oh, okay. one. Yes, thank okay. you, because I want uh, all people, all participants. Uh, uh, hello, uh, this is Kayar. Yes, they... Kayar. Uh, they offered him a job. A job was offered him by them. A job was offered him by them. A job was offered. Was is a past tense of be. Yes, yes was offered is verb three. Him again by them. Uh, by them. Yes. Them or they. By them. Them. Why we don't use they here? Why you change it to them? Uh, because uh, it depends on they. Then we use a uh, passive verb. They change them. Yes, because they is a subjective pronoun, and when we want to use it in the position of object, we need objective pronoun or object pronoun. So. The object pronoun of they is them. So we say a job is was offered him by them. Thank you. Number three, who want to answer? Me. Yes, please. Man yes. showed up the house. Uh, the house was showed us 
should us by the man? Uh, you have to make a subject by us, not by the house. It's true, you can make it by the house as well, but here the bold word is important. Um, so um, us is your subject. How, how you can use it in the sentence, in the passive sense? Passive voice. Again, Aziza, please. The house? Not the house. It, object? is not the house, us. You wanna use us as a subject. How we can change it to subjective pronoun. The man showed us the house. How was uh, showed us by the man? It's, it's this not is correct. true. This is correct, but we have two objects here, us and the house. You can yeah. make a passive sentence by two of them. The house was showed us by the man. And the other, the other form, who can make the other form and make us as a subject? This is Hassan, may I try? Yes, the, yes please, Hassan. Uh, we were showed the house by the man. Yes, because us is a object pronoun, we need to change it to subject pronoun. So us change to, changes to we. We, now we need a tense, a proper tense of we. we where we were showed the house by the man. Exactly, thank you. Number four, who's ready to answer? I can try. Yes, sure, go ahead. Uh, Anna from Hungary. Yes, Anna, please. My friend gave me a pen. Uh, the pen uh, was, uh, uh, was grieved? No. <laughs> Do you know the past participle of gave? Give, gave, given, right? It's the verb three. The, the verb three of gave is given. The pain yes. was uh, given. Given. Given by my friend. Uh, would you repeat it, please, again? Would you repeat it? The pain the was pen. given. By was given friend. me by friend. Yes, again, we, here we have two objects, direct object, indirect object. And it's true, a pen was given me by a friend. Passive. What about passive. the other form? It is passive form. Passive form, yes, it's passive. How we can make a sentence in a passive form and the subject used by me? How we can change me into the subject Position, who can try? No, no, not Ahmed. Scroll up. We are still discussing about the last question. Yes, I would like to answer. Qadar Hussain yes. is speaking. Okay, Qadar Hussain. Yes. Yes. Uh, we are the sentence, please. Um... Ahmed, would you? The Ahmed, can you scroll page? up, please? Scroll up, please. Okay, yes, scroll, scroll a little up. up. A little, just the oh. last question we need to see. Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah. I, okay. was I was given, I was yeah. given a mm. pen by my friend. Yes, excellent. Me, we need to change to subjective pronoun. So the subject pronoun is I. I was given a pen by my friend. Thank you, great. Okay, next part. Okay, number one, uh, who's ready to make a sentence by the picture and the, fair, the verb is draw. And we, you, you wanna make a sentence in passive voice in simple present tense. Wanna Can try? I try? Yes, please, sure. Go ahead. This is Ahmed. Uh, the picture was drawn by the partner. Right. Simple present Hands, present, not past. Is, is. Can I it's the, the tense is present, not past. So we cannot say was. You should use the present tense of be, not past tense. The picture is. Exactly. Yes. The picture is drawn by the partner. Mm, yes, you can add by phrase if you like. Yes, 
that's true. The picture is drawn, draw, drew, drawn, right? Mm -hmm. By, for example, someone. Okay, thank you. Number two. This is Maru. The, the door was closed Maru, by yes. him. Maru, please. Could you late. try? Hold on. Uh, after Maru, if you can try, please. Yes, the Maru. The door was closed by someone. I don't know. Yes, the door, because it's simple past, we need the past tense of B was closed. And the door is singular, it's not plural. So we don't use where, we use was because it's singular. The door was closed by someone. Thank you. Number three. Yes. I think, uh... yeah. I don't know. Yes. Yes. Seven. You raise your hand, Seven. Okay, just say your names, then I can I know who is talking and who wanna answer the questions. This is yes. Very down for Amiran. Okay. Okay. Yes. Can I say okay? Uh, present continuous. Uh, I think we must say the house. Uh, the house is being stolen every day. Yes. Present no? continuous. Present continuous. We need. Mm -hmm. uh, the house you... is being stolen. Is being stolen. stolen. Still stolen. Stolen. Yes, the house is being stolen. Thank you. Hello. Is it Yulti yes. from Indonesia? I'm trying to answer okay, number four. four. Okay. The bike was repairing by me. It was being repairing. Was being repaired. Was being repaired. 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 And we can't say that. Oh. I like the question. The past continuous. The past of the past. Repaired. Number five. Wanna try number five? The room, may I answer? Fatima, unfortunately, your voice is breaking up. Fatima, do you hear me? It's broken. Fatima. Okay, I made someone can continue, right? Do you want it to continue? Yes, number five. When she returns, it comes back and we finish the page. Go ahead, Kloti. Okay, Amita, or the person that was reading, number five. Person party. Not in Indonesia. The room has been cleaned. Number five, right? Yeah. Five or six. The, the homework was being done. No, no, path perfect. Be careful. The homework had I'm been done. The, the homework done. was. The homework was being done. No, the, the homework oh, had been done. Has perfect. Has been, has been, yes, sorry, sorry. Has been done. Yes. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. Amit, can you take the lead, please? The homework okay. had been done. Had been, oh. had been, yeah, past perfect, had been done, yeah. Excellent. 
Number seven, who's next? May I try? Please, Hassan. Uh, the window will be broken. Excellent, will be broken because we have the future. We need the auxiliary wheel. Number eight, who's next? Yesin. This is Yesin. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, the essay should be written. Should be, okay, can you say it slowly? Say it again. The essay should be written. Should be written, excellent. Should be written. The essay should be written. Okay, let's continue. Who's next? The boy writes for. As suggested, write the following sentences as suggested. The boy writes poems. The boy wrote poems. No, okay, we have the passive voice. We have poems is the object. So we start with the object. After the verb, you have to be very careful. You are identifying the object is going to become the subject of the sentence. So the boy writes poems. Poems? Okay, can you try it again? Okay. By the boy. Written by boy. Poems were written by the boy. Are, poems are because it's the present. Poems are written. Poems are written by, by the boy. Uh huh. Can you repeat again, please? Because I, I couldn't hear. Poems are written by the boy. Yeah, poems. Where uh, are written are because it's present. Right, is the present. Number two, who's next? I try. Sure, Anna. Uh, the girl drew the blue car. The blue car uh, was driven by girl. Excellent, great. Next oh, one, no, please. No, no. Number three. They have uh, enough money have been collected by okay, them. Okay, who's speaking? May I have, okay, who's speaking? Uh, this is Maru. Maru, okay, Maru, please, you try number three. Uh, okay, enough money mm -hmm. has, has been collected. Oh, by excellent. Them. Enough money has been collected by them. Okay. Very good. Who's next, number four? Can you this is Ahmed, can you scroll a little bit up? Sorry, Ahmed, can you scroll a little bit up? Number four and five. Thank you. Number four, this is Ferreiden from Iran. They will okay. open a new restaurant. We must say a new restaurant will be opened by them. Will be yes. open. Uh -huh. yeah. Will be. is after yeah. the auxiliary, we need the verb yeah. in basic form. Right. Will be opened, yes. Excellent. Can you try again, please? Uh, a new open will a new restaurant will be opened by them. Excellent, great. Who's next? Number five, please. This is Maru. So can you speak a little louder for me, please? Yeah. This is Maru. Okay, Maru, go ahead. Picture can be drawn by the little boy. Okay, we had the little boy can draw pictures. And you have, uh, can you repeat? Pictures uh -huh. can, can be drawn by the little boy. Excellent, great. Pictures can be drawn by the little boy. Number six, who's next? This is Hendrik. This is Hendrik. Henry, okay. Yeah. Hendrik? The, yeah, number six, the uh -huh. prisoner. The pri the prisoner what was watched by the guard. The guard. Excellent, very very good. Number seven. Who's next? Me. They will not play soccer. Soccer. Okay, Arita, Arita, uh, Amita. Uh -huh. Yeah. They will not play soccer. Mm. Okay. They will not play soccer. Yes. No. Soccer will. Uh, won't uh, won't be played by them. Excellent. So you have the contraction will not with want. 
Soccer yeah. won't be played yeah. ED by them. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Number eight. Who's next? This is Maruf. Okay, Maruf. I can't uh, make the passive voice uh, because they believe it's a non transitive, intransitive verb. Yes, they believe that he writes good poems. Okay, uh, but the second part, he writes good poems. Can you try it? Uh, Mamet, can you, can you put it number eight? He says, he writes good poems. In the second part of the sentence, Ahmed, can you scroll a little bit up? Thank you, Ahmed. Okay, we haven't finished. Number eight. Excellent. Thank you, Ahmed. Okay, who was reading? Number eight. I can't. I can't to make okay. passive, the passive word because they believe they... that good poems. Good point. They believe that good poems are are uh, written. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah, good Arita? poem written. Mm, yes. By, uh, by him. Excellent. They believe it. Yes, Adita, um, can you repeat again, this please? Is, uh, Good poems uh, are written by him. They believe yes. that. Yeah, of course. The, this, right. this is Mukhtar from Tunisia. Claudette, may I, may I say something? Sure. Go ahead, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. They believe that he writes good poems. I'm, I'm here. I'm relating to to Maruf. Uh, they believe can be turned into it's believed. It's believed mm -hmm. that he writes good poems. So they believe is also possible to turn into passive voice. We say it's believed that he writes good poems. Excellent. Yes, it's another way Thank to you. say that. Thank you. Sure. Okay, well, uh, that is about, uh, we have uh, 15 mi more minutes to finish the class. Okay, let's continue, Ahmed, with the next screen. Let's see what she prepared, what she was preparing. Can you make a little bigger for me, Ahmed, please, the screen, full screen, please? Make it the full screen. Full screen. Uh-huh, a little bigger. Do you hear me? That's okay. Uh, yes, the first picture. A lovely perfume and says where? The question, and then we have friends. Can somebody try about this picture talking about the passive voice here? This is Eric. Eric. Uh, I, uh, a lovely perfume, where do you buy it? I bought it, it in France. I bought I bought it in France. Okay. Sorry, this is Muhammad. Can uh, I try? His voice, I think, is was. Uh, it was bought. It was, it was yes. bought in France. It was bought in France. Yes, you switch about the object, put it in the first place. Excellent. Thank you. Number two. Can you try number two? Who's next? This is Mohammed. Mohammed, please. Uh, I want to refer to number one. I believe it's better. It's another interpretation. Like uh, a lovely perfume. Where is it made? The answer is, it's made in France. Okay. Excellent. Yes, it can be change the verb by for uh, made. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's correct. It can also be correct. Number two, excuse me, who's next? This is Ali. Okay, Ali, go excuse ahead. Excuse me, excuse me, do you have uh, wine? Yes, sir, it's, uh, it's, it's have the wine. Mm, not quite. Okay, another one. Can you try it again? Can I? Yes, please. I get, can I get wine? Uh huh, yes, sir. It. Um, excuse me. Can I get a win? Yes, sir. It. Um, it is, right or not? <laughs> not quite, right? 
Okay, who else can try? Um. Another person, we can hold on a little bit, yes? This is Maru. Maru, please. Excuse me, this wine, it was, uh, excuse me, this one, it was being produced in Italy, example. Yes, here it was. Yes, it was produced in Italy, right, okay. Yes, it's quite well, that kind of uh, question. Number three, let's move on, who's next? Who's next? Wonderful vegetables. Where uh, they uh -huh. produce, produce, where they produce, where they produced. And you answer, it took a lot of hard work. Not quite. Can you try again? Mm, where they, where they have, have product planted, have been planted, yes? Because Where the answer is, have... he says it took a lot of hard work. So what is the question for that that makes sense? Where then I know how to work? What is the past participle of take? Where they took? Where they produced in your garden. Where they produce, okay, not quite well because it says, yes, well, okay, where they produce in your garden, yes, it took a lot of hard work, but if you have about take, take, took, and taken, we can ask the question with taken. Can you try again? Where they taken in your where farm? They, where they taken, taken from your lot farm? Of hard work. Yes, yes, remember the answer is yes, no question. When you they have they yes, yes, no questions, mm -hmm. were they taking a lot of hard work? Yes, it took a lot of hard work. Okay, let's move with number four. Mohamed, can you uh, move a little bit picture number four because it's not very clear for me. Ahmed? Uh, the, uh, I think is this, Already. Is this, okay, Ahmed, can you try it? Is this already, we wanted to buy it. So sorry, this house yesterday. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think so, but uh, that's not clear for me also. Is I'm this not... house, okay, is this house already bought? We want to buy it. So sorry, this house was already sold yesterday. Is this house, uh huh? What is, uh, who wants to try number four to make sense? Who's next? Is this house? Okay, go, Nani. Go, go, go. go ahead, Nani. <laughs> is, this... Is, this, is this house sold already? We wanted to buy it. What is the next sentence? I can be can be. I'm so read. sorry. This house was sold. already sold. Sold, yeah. <laughs> this... Okay, thank you. Yesterday was already sold yesterday because yes. past tense. You came in a bad I time. can be read, that's been hard, been cut. Cannot okay. be read. Yeah, number five, Nani. Right, sorry, not read. Nani, can you try number five for me? Number five, my, can you make a bit bigger? My boyfriend, my boyfriend? Oh yes. no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, him? That what? your boyfriend is cheating on you. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Bad sentence, okay. Gossiping. Yeah, bad sentence. My boyfriend, oh no, what, what uh, that he has been done oh, to him? No, okay, about tail? About tail. tail. Uh -huh. what, did, what, what did he tell, uh, tell him? Yes, what did what somebody tell what about did, him? Yes, what? Uh, 
what somebody told about him, something like that. Okay. Oh, oh, is that my boyfriend? Oh no. What? And tell him. What? What did they? What did you tell? What did you tell about him? They said that's that my that your boyfriend is cheating on you. What did they tell you about him? You about him. What did they tell you about um, him? This is this is Mukhtar. Okay, Mukhtar. Mukhtar. Uh, okay, I think, about this. Right. Okay. I think it. I think it should be what is said about him. What, what is, is said, said about him? Oh, what did you? It, what yeah, did you it is. It said that your boyfriend is cheating on you. Okay, makes sense. Yes. Yeah, makes no. sense. Makes sense. Okay. Maybe ah, oh, Mukhtar, you are the expert. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe any more? Hello. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm so sorry, guys, because because of my bad internet connection, oh. my unstable oh, internet bye, bye. And I, <laughs> I'm really sorry for that. It happened many times for me. Thank you for keep on the class. Okay. So we have a discussion with the boyfriend there. Okay, thank you, Fatima. <laughs> Back to you. Great, thank you. Yes, you can continue. I think I forgot what I was talking about and I lost. So if you want to continue. Ahmed is going to show you about the next oh, picture is number yeah. six. Yes, okay. thank you. Uh, there's a there's an audio file, Ahmed. Would you please play it? Is it possible or not? I don't know. Okay, just a minute. The audio please. file, yes. Okay. Just five minutes left. We have a we have a website, address of website, which has a you can go there and take a quiz, online quiz, and then click on the score and see your score about passive voice. Uh, you can share that website as well, and um, participants can take a quiz. Okay, Fatima, just a minute, please. Okay, thank you. Maybe you can receive the feedback because we have only five minutes, all right? Yes, that's great. Five minutes only. Um, okay. What's your feedback about this grammar class? Let's end it up at this moment. Five minutes, I think it's enough to get some feedback for myself uh, about participants and learner. How was the grammar class? Do you like to continue such kind of class in basic grammar or inter intermediate grammar? Or you just want open conversation because maybe there was a chance for me in future to take such kind of class. So I want to know, what do you think about such kind of class based on grammar? Or do you like just open conversation class as I already um, did it before? Uh, like what, how thought and feeling effect on our physical health and the other uh, topic was about appearance. Which one do you prefer? I like to know your idea, your opinion about uh, the class that you like to attend, which one do you prefer? Fatima, do you hear me? Yes. I, I can't share uh, the it's audio okay. now. It's okay, thank you. Uh, no, it's, it's not needed, I think, because we don't have time, we are out of time, just three minutes left, and I wanna just uh, get feedback from participant. Three okay. minutes is not enough for this. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. For me, in my opinion, Fatima, the first step, I have to say thank you so much for providing this material for us. Uh, in my opinion, mix of them is better. Mm. Grammar and um, discussion, free discussion, and talk about some topics. Both mm. of them is great. Yes. Yeah, you, mean, uh, you mean at the same session or one session grammar, the other session open conversation, or 30 minutes grammar and the other 30 minutes of our session open conversation based on the grammatical point that we were discussed about them. Which one do you mean? My opinion, the first, the one session, part, two part, 30 minutes, for example, for grammar mm -hmm. and 30 minutes for discussion is better. 
It's because or making it's... sentence, creating sentence, making sentence according yeah. to the grammar point. Thank you. What about others? Do you want to give me any feedback about the class? Do you like to continue grammar class or not? Yes. You just Kadar like... is speaking. Yes. Kadar Hussain is speaking. Go ahead, yes. Father. Today, today you 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 are outstanding. Do you know today you you are same look like uh, Mr. James because uh, you are speaking nonstop. And uh, you are explaining each and everything in an amazing way. Uh, I really you. appreciate you today. You are outstanding, and I hope that you will uh, you will carry on like this, and we will learn from you a lot of things. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you are you agree with this grammar class, right? At the intermediate yes, yes, level, course. like this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. What about others? Thank you so much, Fatima. From India. This is Anna. Thank you so much uh, because uh, that's an uh, interesting class. Thank you so much. Exactly. Uh, actually, I, I don't know anything about the pass, uh, passes uh, voice, but now I can uh, using it in the sentences. Thank you so much. I'm glad to hear that. It's my pleasure. And thanks to you, special thanks to you for helping me sharing the material here. Thank you so much. Yes? I'm present now from India, and the yes. class was very interesting. So many things I learned from this class. Thank you Great. very much. I'm so glad. This Thank is you Kawa so from Thanks Syria. Thanks for your active participation. Yes, Kawa, Fatma. please. Go ahead. Uh, thank you very much for yes. your effort. Uh, I think it's uh, you, your way and your why your uh, um, uh, uh this session it's you uh, useful for for me i i, I think it be, uh, will be better to uh and that next time it's mix mix uh, uh, grammar it will be better thank you for, uh, very much fatma for your mm -hmm. offer my pleasure thank you so much thank you everyone hope to see you again in next sessions and time is over Pass over okay. to James if he's Thank you, Fatima. Or... Thank you. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, Fatima. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Okay. I'm taking over and I'm going to continue with uh, advanced listening and vocabulary from Lecture One Philosophy. I'd like to just jump right into it. If you're not familiar, you can find the uh, past vocabulary we've studied in the channel called Classroom Notes in Discord. Um, would anybody like to lead a beginner's breakout room in case uh, you're a beginner, in case you want to help beginners so they don't have to be here for something too difficult? Otherwise, I will say, oh, Nani, you'd like to do a beginner's breakout room. I don't know. You make the. Uh, I make what? Create the breakout room. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna say let participants choose the room, create one room. Uh, one room gonna be many. Uh, you think so? Raise your hand if. Raise your hand if you want to join a beginner's breakout room. Or oh, you want more practice with passive? I can do that. It's up to you. I don't want to talk about it. I'm just going to trust yeah, you okay. to do beginners. But um, I think one will be enough. Beginners with Nani. <laughs> there you are. Beginners room with Nani. Breakout room is open. <laughs> And it will be for one hour. So back to yeah. it. If you need help joining, you can let me know. Otherwise, just you can jump in there on your own. Back to listening, uh, upper intermediate, inter, um, adva advanced vocabulary and listening. The um, lecture is called Plato, Socrates, and the Dialogues. We're starting. We're continuing from minute 25. Lecture one, minute 
25, 26, and 27. Here we go. Share screen. Hmm. Hmm. Let's share audio only. To a new set of characters who I believe, and I, I wouldn't go too far on this, but I would be w willing to venture the guess that we're, we're hearing more things from Plato's own mouth in the late dialogues. The Athenian stranger, for example, is the main interlocutor in the laws, not Socrates. Socrates isn't mentioned in the laws. That's the last of the dialogues. I can't help but believe that the Athenian stranger is articulating what Plato has, on, has going on in his own head. In other words, he's the stranger, and he has some ideas about the second best government if the government of the Republic is not possible. And for that reason, we're going to leave Socrates out, even though he's one of the greatest constructions in Western literature, and have someone else do the talking. Perhaps Plato was trying to keep a sense of intellectual distance between himself and Socrates, and was careful what he put into Socrates' mouth. In addition... Socrates is left out, or at least plays a very minor role, in the sophist and the statesman, which is another pair which was part of a trilogy, or part of a, what was intended to be a trilogy, of dialogues. And Socrates doesn't play too much a role, plays a very small role there. Instead, the main speaker is someone called the Eleatic Stranger. Um, Parmenides comes from Elea. And I'll talk later on about who Parmenides is. He's one of the great thinkers of Greece from the generation prior to Socrates that, ha that like Pythagoras, had a great influence on Socrates. So I think that Plato is trying to suggest in these later dialogues that his voice is becoming more audible and the voice of Socrates is declining in significance. In other words, he's moving away from a, from a recapitulation of, of Socratic ideas to a construction of Platonic thought. And I think that's why Socrates as a figure becomes less and less noticeable. Also, Plato wrote these last dialogues in the last 12 or 15 years of his life, which means that he was between, oh, 65 and 70 and died at 80. He was an old man in writing these dialogues. One of the things that's most noticeable about the late dialogues is the fact that there's a, a definite decrease in the poetic element. In other words, Socrates not only is, is left out, but a lot of the mythology, a lot of the dramatic irony, a lot of the, uh, the irony of situation erodes, and we get more and more emphasis on strict logical analysis. This could be just suggesting the change in the way Plato was thinking. It could be that there's a sort of erosion of his poetic abilities as he gets older. He may feel that I'm an old man, death is imminent, I don't have time to edify people by writing pretty poems or thinking up a great new myth like the myth of Ur at the end of the Republic. He says, look, I don't have time for that now. I want to get on to my next project because, you know, I'm in my 70s now, I'm not going to be around forever. I have to kick these things out. I, I have a debt to pay to Greek culture. So he was very much under the gun in the late dialogues. You lose a sense of the poetry. And the laws itself, the last dialogue that he wrote, um, is pretty clearly a rough draft. It's, rep it's repetitive in a way that Plato isn't. Um, there are some infelicities of style that I'm sure Plato would have gotten rid of had he lived to be 81 or 82. But the laws is the last of his works, and this is a, an example of that tendency to move away from poetry towards... Articulate, articulate, possible, distance, put words in my mouth, generation, prior, audible, declining, recapitulate, decrease, strict, erosion, project, debt, under the gun, rough draft, and tendency. Who would like to start? Define one of the words, put it into a sentence. What does articulate mean? Express an idea or feeling fluently and coherently, clearly. There's the uh, adjective and there's the verb. The verb is to express an idea clearly. That's the one that was in the lecture. It was the verb, articulate. The pronunciation is 
different between the verb form and the adjective form. So see if you can hear it. The verb is articulate. The adjective is articulate. Articulate, articulate. It's a slight difference in the ending. So would anybody like to make an example sentence with the verb form articulate to express, go ahead, name. Ahmed. Ahmed. The teacher in the class speaking with the so articulate. Oh, you, you did the different one. You did the adjective. The teacher speaking is so articulate. Exactly. That's the adjective. Do you see how the way you put it in the sentence makes it an adjective, right? The teacher is so smart. The teacher is so boring. The teacher is so articulate. Those are all adjectives based only not on the word, but just where it is in the sentence. It has to be an adjective. If, and that's great. And so then would somebody like to give us the example? This is, this is Mukhtar from Tunisia. Sure. Thank you. Um, I, we can say maybe um, the causes of the problem were uh, well articulated in his speech. Sure. The causes of his problem were, the causes of the problem were articulated uh, in his speech. You can almost use articulate, the verb, in the same way that you do for speak or tell. Please articulate how you're feeling. Tell me how you're feeling. Articulate. Tell me clearly, specifically, easily and fluently all of the things you're feeling. Um, I want you to listen. I want to articulate to you my plan. I want to describe my plan clearly to you. Great. Articulate, articulate. Next. Oh, yes. This is Maruf. Maruf. The database is uh, articulate with the, the, the experience. What's, what's articulate with experience? The data. The data? Yes, the, the, the database is articulate with the experience. The database is articulate with the experience. Which means querying. Huh? Which the last meaning to querying. The last meaning what? What's the, the, the word coherent, coherent? In the definition for, uh, for this word mean? Uh, coherent. Yeah. Coherent? Coherent? Coherent, yes. Ah, ah, coherent. Okay, so um, no, that's great. The synonyms for articulate, the adjective, are eloquent, fluent, communicative, effective, persuasive, coherent. Those are the synonyms. They all mean easy, uh, uh, communicated well and clearly. Now, your example, something about the data. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the data doesn't communicate anything. So we would not call data articulate. Usually a person is articulate. Somebody who is expressing themselves clearly, an agent who is expressing themselves clearly would be described as articulate. The scientist articulated the meaning of the complex data to the stunned audience, articulate. Uh, well, oh, sorry, I used a verb form. So uh, the scientist was extremely articulate in the way he communicated the data, the information of the data to the audience of specialists. Maruf, are you following me? Yes, yes. Can you tell me uh, a sentence, maybe even the sentence I said? Do you want to try the sentence I said? The scientist is coherent uh, to communicate his uh, data or, or his uh, result uh, experience. Oh, yeah. You didn't use the word articulate or articulate, but 
it would, yeah. Do you want to try again and put the word in? The, art, the articulate scientist clearly articulated the meaning of the data to the audience. Okay. I was just wondering if you wanted to say it, but that's okay. You don't have to. I'm going to go to the next sentence. I'm the next word. Next word, maybe easy or intermediate, possible. Possible. It means maybe. Maybe happen, yeah? Oh, nice mistake. No. Good, uh, but uh, possibly, possibly, the L-Y is important for maybe. Possibly means maybe. Possible is different. It means you can do it, able to do it. Uh, the sense of the word definitely changes from possible to possibly. So possible, able to be done, within your power to do. Feasible, practical, uh, pr uh, viable, attainable, achievable. Getting, uh, passing the test is possible. Getting a job is possible. Getting married is possible. I will, I will possibly pass the test, different meaning, different sense completely. Maybe I will pass, maybe I won't, I don't know. So one has to do with ability, the other has to do with prediction. Possible is ability, possibly is a prediction. Anyone else wanna try a sentence with possible? This is Ahmed. Can I try? Please. Uh, I think my goal is possible. And what is your goal? And, and what is your goal? I'm encouraging, what? Ahmed, I'm encouraging you to make a cluster of sentences in your example to better articulate the meaning of the word you're defining. Would you like to try again? Right. Do, do you want to change the sentences? Oh, yes, I do want to change the sentences. I want to add and I want to elaborate. I want to elaborate rather than be vague. I'd like to help you and all of us become clearer and more articulate. You said something like, my goal is possible. Good, that's a good beginning. Would anybody like to build on that sentence and make it a little bit more clear and articulate for the meaning of possible? I'm Prasanna from India. It is possible for everyone to talk in your platform. Okay, it is possible for everyone to talk in my platform. Um, this is Bukhtar. Can I can I relate uh, to Ahmed's sentence? You're gonna roll. Yeah, you want to build on his sentence, sure. Yeah, exactly. We say uh, we are aiming at finish. We are aiming at finish the work by the end of this week, and we think our goal is possible. We're aiming. Uh, say it again. Sorry, I, I kind of missed we, it. Yeah, we are aiming at finish the whole work by the end of this week, mm. and we think that this goal is possible. Great, we're aiming to finish yeah. the work or by the finish, end of yeah, the two, week. Two, three, yeah, we're, we're aiming to finish the work by the end of the week, and we believe this goal of finishing by the end of the week is possible. Yeah. Aiming. Huh? Oh, that was a speaking dictionary. Okay, great, possible. Next word, distance. Again, it's a beginner intermediate word, distance. Uh, sir, distance. 
I'm sorry. Well, you should be sorry, but I don't know why. Why are you sorry? Because I forgot in my name and uh, introduced. So oh, Abdullah from Afghanistan. <laughs> no, Pakistan. Well, I forgot. See, I'm sorry. I forgot where you're from. Yeah, you know, you told me in many times. First, you introduce yourself and I come from Pakistan, blah, blah. So that's why I said you, I'm sorry. Do you want to yeah. give us the definition for distance? Distance mean, for example, sir, if I say and distance in, uh, from each other, right? Now that... Now that is not a definition. That is an example. You're, you're already starting on the example, like, oh, the distance between two people. Now, we can, yeah. st we can start to guess about the meaning from that, sure. But we don't know exactly what it means. Still, we'll still, we, we want um, more explanation for the meaning. Ikla from Morocco. Okay, Ekla from Marco. A distance, uh, we can say it's a space between two things or like. Sure. Kind of the space between things or people, an amount of space, the span, the gap, the separation, the, the interval, the distance. Great. Use it in a sentence, Ekla? There's a. Right. There's a long distance between Morocco and the United States. <laughs> okay. There's a long distance between Morocco and the United States. Uh, we were talking about the meaning of objective and subjective. Is that objective or is that subjective to say there is a long distance between Morocco and the United States? Objective or subjective? Subjective? Yeah. I guess. What if you wanted to give a, a, a an objective description, what would it sound like? Anybody? What would it, if you were describing the distance between Morocco and the United States, not subjectively, but objectively, what would it sound like? Uh, this is Aisha from Pakistan. Uh -huh. uh, you can say, uh, what's the distance between uh, America and Morocco or from Morocco to America. <laughs> well, you're asking the question, and then the ob the answer objectively would be what? The distance between America to uh, Morocco is uh, X Y Z kilometers. Okay, so maybe one thousand kilometers or three thousand kilometers. You would give a number. Okay. That would Actually, be. Actually, I don't know the distance. <laughs> How much it is? Aisha, I don't believe it. You don't know the exact no, kilometers no, between I, the United States no, and Morocco. No, I even seriously I don't know about it. I, but I know the distance from Pakistan to, I guess, uh, Canada or England. Oh. I'm not sure. It's oh. Four thousand. Four thousand kilometers. 4,000 kilometers, I don't know, is it between Pakistan to um, okay. uh, Canada or Pakistan to London? Not sure. Not well, sure. Maybe well, I'm wrong. Well, maybe you are wrong and maybe you're right, but it doesn't matter because we're not studying geography. We're just uh -huh. looking at the difference between objective and subjective. So if you said the distance between Pakistan and uh, Canada was 4,000 kilometers, that would be an objective description. And if you said it was far, that would be subjective. Great. N next word is a phrase. The phrase is, put words in my mouth. Put words in my mouth. What does it mean if we say, put words in my mouth? This is Muhammad. Um, it means uh, when someone tries, when someone tries to say that, other person said something while they didn't mean it. Right. 
uh, well, while they didn't say it, right? Falsely, yeah. inaccurately report what somebody has said. And you'll hear people say that something like, oh, you're putting words in my mouth, meaning you're saying I said something, I didn't say that. Don't put words in my mouth means don't speak for me. I will speak for myself. You can speak for yourself. Don't speak for me. You're describing what I want to say and what I think incorrectly. Put words in my mouth or put words in his mouth, her mouth. Somebody use it in a sentence. Ekla from Morocco. Yeah. The mother puts words in Mommy. puts words in uh, in her son's mouth. Can I, can we use this? Yeah, her son is always getting angry because he's putting she's always putting words in her son's mouth, and he doesn't like it. Sure. Yeah. She she says that he loves to study English, but he he actually hates to study English. And the mother puts the words in his mouth that he loves to study English and he doesn't like that. Great. Next word, generation. All of the people born and living about at the same time, regarded collectively, an age group, a peer group, an age, a cohort. People from my generation started using computers. People from my mother's generation did not have computers growing up. And people from my grandparents' generation um, I don't know, mm, grew up on a farm. Anybody want to use generation in a sentence? Uh, this is Mukhtar from Tunisia. Yeah. I uh, just want to add that it is said that the generation is roughly 30 years. That's great. That's a great example sentence. A generation is roughly 30 years. Hello? This is Hello. Azur. Aso. Azur. As what? Aso Dori. Aso Dori from Iraq. Yes. Uh, for example, we can use the word uh, generation like uh, saying uh, we can uh, figure out that the generation has uh, got uh, a lot of uh, changes uh, from uh, one generation to another in his um, uh, attitude and his style uh, of life and, um, and the way of his thinking as well. I want to help you clean that up. You are kind of, you're kind of all over the place. Um, I would say gen one generation is often different from the next. Is that good enough or does that miss anything? Yes, we can say that. We can say that um, um, one generation has a different uh, or it differs totally from the other one uh, in many things. One generation differs from another. One, de de one generation one gener differs completely. Yes. From the next. Yes, in many ways, like the way of thinking, their style of living. No, see, no, no. Actually, that's getting messy because, and let me show you why. You've already said it differs completely. And when you say completely, that means... In everything. You know, right? It is mean in everything. Do you know what I'm about to say next? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> I was... I, I'm, well, so, so hold on just one second. Let me just finish my thought. Okay. All right. So yes, you know, you know what everything means, but then you said many ways 
and see many is actually different from all. So if you say this one generation differs from all in all ways, in many ways, it's actually uh, ambiguous. Is it many or is it all? That's why um, it's a li- that's what I, I'm saying. Your description is a little messy. You would choose between either many or all. Uh huh. You you mean that I shouldn't uh, uh, specify if I say uh, completely. The word completely means in everything. So I, I shouldn't repeat it with uh, in many ways. So it would be specified for certain things, no, not in everything. No, no, I'm not saying right? that you're. No, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, you, I'm not. I'm not saying you're repeating yourself. I'm actually saying you're saying two different things, because if you say many, it it does not mean all. It just means many, and then there's a few where they don't differ. Right? There are here. There's many people in this room who are wearing hats. That means there are a few people in the room who are not wearing hats, which is different than saying everyone in the room is wearing a hat. Then no exactly. one, yeah. So it's two different ideas. That's why I was just saying you could clean that up a little bit. I'm being a little picky though. Okay. And I like to be picky because language is a good way to be picky and be specific. Exactly, to be accurate. Yes. Okay. Uh, next word, prior. Prior. He has a prior engagement this evening, coming before, before, earlier, previous, preceding. Somebody want to use prior in a sentence? This is Yasin from Morocco. Yeah. Um, uh, when we speak English, we rely on our prior knowledge about pronunciation, uh, vocabulary, and grammar. Sure. When you speak English, you rely on prior knowledge. How else would you speak? You better have that knowledge. Otherwise, how are you going to speak? Yeah. Prior is pretty straightforward, so I'm just going to move on. Audible. We did this word. If you were in class, it was a while ago. It was many weeks ago. Maybe some of you or most of you were not here. So we can do it again. Audible. Able to be heard. Perceptible, discernible, detectable. You can hear something, then it is audible. Anyone? Sentence for Audible? This is Khan. Can I try? Of course. Well, um, uh, I can audible your voice whenever you are talking with me. No. No, because it's the wrong part of speech. Audible is an adjective, and you're putting it in the space in the sentence that needs a verb. I can audible. That's a verb slot you know sentences have like positions you know like clothing right you have gloves go on your hands hat goes on your head shoes go on your feet pants go on your legs if you put your pants on your head and your hat on your feet and your gloves i don't know where you're going to have a problem so you need to put the verb in the part of the sentence where the verb goes and the adjective in the part of the sentence where the adjective goes so try again um, so I can say, uh, you are audible to me. Yes, exactly. You're audible. You are audible to me. Am I audible to you? Can you hear uh, me? Yeah. You are audible to me. Yes, exactly. That's how we use audible. That's it. That's all. Thank That's you. perfect. You're welcome. Okay. Next word, uh, declining. Refuse, refusing, refusing. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, that's another word. That's another meaning of declining. I'm actually using a different meaning, and it's not in the written dictionary definition. So forget about saying no, but it's true. Refusing or saying no is another meaning for declining. This one, uh, oh, well, so um, that declining is the verb form. 
ing verb form. Uh, I am declining your offer. I am saying no to your offer. The one I want to do is the adjective. Adjective for declining is um, getting smaller, diminishing, decreasing. May I say something else? Another meaning? Uh, so, Aldori from Iraq, before you say another meaning, can you use this word's meaning in a sentence? Declining, yes. The prices of the computers nowadays is declining. Yeah. It's a little bit confusing because that's the verb form, but it's, it's, um, that's fine for the verb form. The prices are declining. If I wanted to use it as an adjective, I could say, I was surprised by the declining prices. I'm surprised by the declining prices. So surprise would be the verb, declining would be the adjective. But yeah, it's very similar. Yes. Another word is that we can take another meaning. Uh, I remember that I took this a word uh, to show that uh, um, uh, a road or something is bending downward. Uh, yes, yes. Like this road is uh, uh, declining uh, to uh, a valley, maybe. Yeah, something. to decrease in altitude, to decrease in height, to become lower. Yes. The decline, yeah. the, there's a decline on the hill. I put the ball on the hill and it rolled down the hill because the hill has a de decline. Yes, exactly. Great. Uh, next word, recapitulate. Uh, uh, so would you mute yourself because there's static? You already did it, I think, last uh, earlier classes. I know. So it should be really easy. Tell me what recapitulate is and put it in a sentence. It means summarizing something. Huh? It means summarizing something. Yes. Summarizing or saying again. To summarize, to sum up, to repeat, to reiterate, yes. to go over. I am recapitulating the definition for the word recapitulate. Yeah. Yeah? Say it. What, what's my definition for recapitulate? Uh, excuse me, what's my example sentence? It was so fast. Huh? You said it so fast. I know I did. I, well, but <laughs> I said it really fast on purpose because uh, Munmi said she did it already. So <laughs> I want to see if she has it. And when I said the example no, sentence, Moon, no, Moon no, said, no, I am recapitulating my uh, today's lesson. Oh, that's your sentence. That's not my sentence. I am re Yes, yes, please go ahead. I couldn't hear you because my son was screaming a lot. Yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? To manage, um, we do the best that we can. So, Recapitulate. I am recapitulating the definition for the word recapitulate. I am okay, so you are summarizing. You are summarizing the meaning of the word for the uh, what does recapitulating mean? You are repeating it again, revising it again. Yeah, I'm repeating. We did it. We did it a few weeks ago, but today I'm recapitulating the definition. I'm repeating it. Okay, next word. I'm gonna skip decrease, I'm gonna go to strict. What's the definition of strict and what's the sentence you could use it in? Yeah, I say something. I don't know, who are you? Yes, so I'll do it. Oh, go ahead. Yes. Uh, to be strict is an adjective uh, to describe a person who has certain 
um, instruction or in a position that he um, is not an easy young person. He's kind of uh, just giving orders and asking some uh, a certain group to uh, follow it. Just like the headmaster or a boss in a company, uh, I can say our principal in school is a kind of strict person. He's not an easy going. He just follow a certain um, orders or a system. He put a system for uh, an, uh, for a certain group and ask them to uh, follow his uh, instructions. Wonderful, that's a great definition. Here are some of the synonyms. A lot of great synonyms on this word you wanna probably review. Stern, severe, harsh, uncompromising, authoritarian, firm, austere, stringent, rigorous, harsh, rigid, tough, extreme, now, those have the kind of bad connotation, kind of like a mean person. The next set of synonyms is more about exactness. It's more neutral. Here they are. Precise, exact, literal, close, faithful, true, accurate, unerring. Great list of synonyms. Hi, this is Emma. I have a question. Uh, uh, like that street. Huh? What? Tisho. What? Tisho. 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 Not Tisho. What? Spell it. I send this. I I send the word on the chat. Oh, oh, oh. Crucial. 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 Um. Now, crucial. Where did that come from? Because I don't see it in the synonyms in the dictionary definition I posted. So is that something you thought of on your own? Is that you got that from a definition, dictionary definition somewhere else? Where did you get the word crucial? I think uh, about uh, last last call you use this uh, word. Oh, I, I don't remember, but it's possible. Uh, Ahmed, are you there? You look frozen. Your video is frozen. May I ask you a question? No, no, no. I'm sorry, but hold on a second. One thing at a time. I have. There's two things more that I want to say before you can ask a question. I just want to see if us, uh, Ahmed is coming back. I'm. I'm actually going to do it while he's frozen. So there's two things. Crucial. Now I, I don't know. Aso, did you want to define crucial? No, I just. Uh, well, you I want, want to, ask, to. You want to ask, ask a question. Hold off on your question. Hold hold off on your question, please, if you could. Okay. Um, crucial means necessary, important. Uh, uh, can it, it be critical? Hold crucial, on. Critical? Hold on. Hold on. Before you ask a question, let me finish defining it. Crucial synonyms for crucial. Pivotal, critical. Decisive, deciding, determining. Negotiations were at a crucial stage. Um, food and water are um, crucial if you want to survive the desert, your, your trip through the desert. Now you were asking, I don't know who it was. Was it Aisha? You wanted to know about if, if you could say critical? Yeah, I was saying uh, crucial is critical. Yeah. Difficult now be, yeah, be careful, be careful because critical has two different meanings. The more common meaning for critical is you're criticizing someone like you're saying, oh, this is good, that is bad, that's critical. But critical also, has the meaning of crucial or uh, um, deciding, determining. If somebody is in the hospital and they're 
very badly hurt. We would describe them as being in critical condition. It is like an emergency, it's important. Their priority in the hospital is important and their, their um, health is, you know, the, whether they are going to survive or not is unknown. It's kind of just on the border. It's risky. We call that critical condition. So crucial, important, decisive, not really related to the previous word yeah. of, um, of strict. This is, this is Mukhtar? No, hold on, Mukhtar. We have okay. a lot of people. Hold on, Mukhtar. Yeah, yeah a, you're right. We have a bunch of people who wanted to ask questions. And actually, there's one more thing I want to say before I hear your questions. I want to go back to the word strict. And I want to know, does anybody know the meaning, uh, the, the, um, the antonym for strict? The, the word that means the opposite of strict. You can say easygoing. Yeah, easygoing would be one. What's another one? Asana from India, lenient. Yeah, that's the word I was thinking of. Lenient. That's that's the word I was thinking of. Is there any other word that you know that means the opposite of strict? Practical. Easy. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't no. say no. Not. Uh, you could make an argument for it, but I don't think so. Let's get something that's more obvious. Flexible. Flexible. Lenient. Flexible. Exactly. Flexible, lenient, easygoing, forgiving, tolerant, lax. Forgiving, tolerant, lax, easygoing, flexible. Yeah, great. Okay, now those people who had some questions and comments, I think it was um, Aso, Aisha, and Mukhtar. Aso, yes. do you have a question still? Yes, just uh, uh, like uh, to... Uh... Add another synonym for the word strict. Can you say uh, a, a person who uh, seems to be controller or dominate, uh, dominant or uh, a bossy? The bossy person is also uh -huh. kind of strict. Yeah, person. Contro yeah, controlling, dominating, bossy, strict. Boss controlling, yes. dominating, bossy, strict. Yes, all of those are synonyms. Okay, thank you. Aisha, did you have a question? Uh, no, I asked about the critical, you already answered. Great. Mukhtar? I have an example for crucial. Okay. Like when I say the third goal, their third goal in the match was the crucial because it guaranteed their qualification to the next round, for example, in, in a tournament. Yeah, their third goal in the match yeah. was crucial to their success because it guaranteed the, uh, their ability to move on in the tournament. Exactly. Yeah, fantastic. Um, we have 14 minutes, 13 minutes of uh, vocabulary work left. I'm gonna skip a couple of words. I'm gonna jump down to under the gun. What does it mean to be under the gun? Again, under, this, yeah. Under attack or under criticism? Uh, not exactly. Under, it is under pressure. We, it, I know because it has the word gun, it sounds like you're under attack, but that's not the meaning of this idiom. It's not about being under attack, although you might hear it like that slightly. It's really about being under pressure. So I would say, you know, I'm really under the gun at work this week. We have 20 new clients and I'm also taking calls from three new uh, partners. I'm under the gun. I'm under, the, I'm under pressure at work to do a lot of things more than usual. Can I say force it? Try it, put it in a sentence. Let's see how it sounds. I am, I am asking see this, no, this word uh, mini, means uh, forced. No, it doesn't mean 
forced. Uh, it doesn't mean forced, no. Again, you're probably saying that because of the word gun, but that's not really how we use it. It's just the, the sense of the word is pressure. When, you know, think about pressure. If somebody is pressuring you to do something, are you forced? A salesman, salesman comes to your house. He knocks on your door. He says, hey, I want to uh, sell you a new vacuum cleaner. I, you really, you, you know, you really would um, be, it would really be good to buy this. It's very cheap. And I see that your house is really dirty. And I don't really want to leave until you buy one. Are you forced to buy the vacuum cleaner? Not really. You could just say no. But he's still putting pressure. He's saying, come on, do it. Buy it. Come on, it's cheap. Why don't you want to buy? He's, he's pushing. He's pushing. You're under the gun to buy his products. But he's not forcing you. You don't have to buy his products. Okay? I want to hear somebody try to use it. Somebody try under the gun. Mukhtar. Okay. Okay. A good leader is someone who works under the gun. Who can work maybe under the gun. Uh, I totally yeah. see. Yeah, I totally see why you would want to say that. Um, I don't know why, but I would... Never hear that. A good leader is someone who's able to work under the gun. Uh, I, I'll say, okay. It sounds a little kind of funny to me for some reason. Not sure why, but okay. Um, I, I have a question. Juan it, from Costa Rica? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, is that expression more common in labor environments? What, what, what? Labor environment situations, job situations are not necessary. Because I don't I, know. Think, I, I, don't was know. Thinking, I was thinking in an example, for instance, um, next Monday I have two tests and next Tuesday I have a project and uh, two hours. So I'm going, I'm going to be under the gun this weekend. That would be a perfect use of under the gun. I'm uh, I'm 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 um, I'm a student in medical school. I've got three exams next week. I'm really going to be under the gun um, coming up. I, I I'm not I'm not able to really meet you for a while. I'm under the gun with all the things I'm working on at school. Yeah. So I I. I think I answered your question. It's not just at work, but it could be in any situation where you're under pressure. All right, next, really quick. First, uh, a rough draft, a first version of something, a document that needs editing and rewriting. I just completed a rough draft of my speech. So you're writing something, you're not finished with it, you're gonna edit it, you're gonna rewrite it. That's called a rough draft. Somebody use it in a sentence, rough draft. I want to submit an application to become, um, I don't know, what would you uh, uh, write an application for? No, I want to send my um college essay my college app my my i'm applying to college i need to write an essay i need to send them my admissions essay i've been writing it but it's still just a rough draft i want to think about what i want to change and it's due in two weeks so um i plan to have the finished version by the end of the week, it's not finished yet. It's just a rough draft. James, may I relate to your sentence? Uh, no. 
Okay. I, I want to hear from somebody else. I heard from you a couple of times, which I love, but I want to hear from somebody else. Somebody who I have not heard from. Is this Maruf? Okay, Maruf. My thing is it's also the rough draft to be done. I didn't hear the beginning. What? My thesis is my thesis. Can't understand you. Spell it. T I guess he's saying thesis. No, 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 no. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate when people want to speak for others, and often, often it's possible. Um, let them decide. Let them ask if they want help or not. Uh, or let them work to try to get understood. If you if you help them, it'll they won't know how to get around not being understood. So um, I heard you, you corrected him and now you said it, it makes sense, thesis, okay. But I, I still, I wanna give, let people uh, ask for that uh, rather than uh, doing it for them. So yeah, your thesis is in a first draft and you want to rewrite it into uh, your second draft or final draft. Okay, Maruf? Okay. Yeah. Uh, last word. Tendency, tendency means an inclination towards a type of behavior, a propensity, a proclivity, a likelihood, an inclination. Anybody want to use tendency? Again, these are words we've done already. You might have, you might be familiar with them. All the better to make them easier to use. Uh, this is Aisha. Uh, tendency can be the capacity as well. Uh, no, no, it means the likelihood of doing something. It does not mean able to do. Can somebody use it in a sentence, meaning likelihood of behaving in a certain way? He has a tendency to eat a lot when he's angry. I saw him eating a lot. I'm guessing he's angry. She has a tendency to smoke cigarettes when she's nervous. I saw her smoking outside. Did something happen to her? What's, why is she doing that? Why is she so nervous? I have a tendency to laugh when I see somebody make a mistake. I worry about that. I don't want them to get upset that I am laughing and think that I'm laughing at them. But I think it's funny and I have a tendency to laugh, likelihood that I will laugh, tendency. Do you wanna try using tendency? One of my friends has tendency of committing suicide and he has tried thrice. Ouch! A tendency to committing suicide? I don't think so. Uh, once, suicide is once, right? So, a uh, little bit different. A little bit different. Tendency is something... Uh, uh, is ho 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 hold on, hold on. Tendency is something we do habitually. We often do it. So with the suicide example, you might say he has a tendency to think about suicide. He has a tendency to talk about suicide. He has a, he has a tendency to try to kill himself. But if you're talking about tendency, it is a habitual action, something you do over and over and over again and suicide is just once, so you wouldn't have a tendency to do it. Mm. Kadar Hussain? Yes, sir. Uh, I would like to say that in, the, uh, there is, uh, in Pakistan, I would like to say that in Pakistan and most of the offices, there is the tendency that they drink tea at uh, after morning time. Fantastic. In Pakistan, in offices, people have a tendency to drink tea in the afternoon. 
Can I try? Uh, sure, Be, make it quick. With the economic crisis, uh, people have a tendency don't spend, don't spend, don't spend much money. During the economic crisis, people have had a tendency to spend less money. Sure. Mm -hmm. May I add another example? Uh, Aso, yeah, ma ma last example. Go ahead, Aso. Yes, my father seems got the tendency to uh, smoke cigarettes when he feels angry. You yeah, great. Your father has a tendency to smoke cigarettes when he's angry. Okay. Yes, okay. So, Wait. yeah? Um, my, my friend has a no, tendency. No, no, I'm sorry, Jack. We've heard uh, eight examples of tendency. And I said the last one was the last example. So I'm going to cut you off. No more examples for tendency. My apologies. Um, and I'm... Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I just, I'm just thinking for a minute because it is uh, 16 UTC and... Um, if I remember correctly, I just want to check. I think Nellie is going to be teaching in one hour from now. Can anybody confirm that? Yes. yes so, that's right. yes. yes. Um, let me think for a minute. Hmm. I want to continue for one hour before Nelly. And I don't yet know what I want to do to continue. I have some ideas of things that I would like to do. And I'm thinking, maybe I'll do it. Um, I'm going to do it. It's going to be something new. We're going to do something new. I see Alex is smiling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me, Lord. <laughs> Um, we're going to do something fun. I want to play a game of Dungeons and Dragons for one hour. If you are a parent who was in my kids class this morning, you might know what I'm talking about. Or if you know about Dungeons and Dragons, you might know what I'm talking about. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? All I know, as you said, it's a game. Let's yes. play. It is a game. And you want to play. Why not? Let's do it. Say anyone else out. Say anyone else, Alex. Yeah, anyone else. Let's have fun. Teacher, I have to turn on my computer. Right or, or is this app is available for ah, cell phone? Uh, if, yeah, no, you don't have to turn on anything. You don't need anything special. Oh, thank you. And let me stop my sh uh, just stop my audio sharing. Uh, no, it's not a video game. It's not a video game. You don't need a, 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 an app to play this game. This is a talking game. We're going to talk through the game. I, I, it's more than just talking, but you'll see. You don't need anything special. No. Uh, okay, teacher. So anyone else want to join Alex? Say anyone else again, Alex. I'd love that too. Okay. Uh, so can you remind me, were you, are you a parent? Were you in the kids' class this morning? Yes, I, I was in your class before. Great. So you have a little bit of an idea of what I'm talking about. Okay. 
Okay. Let me tell you what the game is. It is a storytelling game, also called a role-playing game. Um, a game is usually, maybe always, something where you have choices. So in a story, you don't have choices. In the story, usually you just listen to the story. Somebody tells a story, you listen to the story. You read a book, you, they tell you the story. But in a game, you're a participant. You make choices. And your choices in the game influence the outcome. If you choose choice number one, something happens. And then if you choose choice number two, there's a chance that something different happens. So it's not like a story. In a role-playing game, we are going to tell a story and you're going to collaborate in the story by making choices. So the outcome of the story is a result of all of your choices. It's called a role-playing game. Now we've, we have roles in this group. A role, you know, is the, is the, it's like your job or the thing that you're doing in the group. In this group, in Eng James Green's English classroom, some of the roles are student, teacher, beginner student, intermediate student, advanced student, board of directors, head teacher. All of those are roles. In the game, role-playing game, you will have a character. So some things that we've done are all coming together. We've also done role playing, right? We've done some role playing. You're a teacher, you're a student, you have a conversation. You're, um, what other role plays did we do? You're in a restaurant, you're a waiter, you're ordering food, you have a conversation. So that was a story, but it wasn't a game. It was just storytelling and acting. So those things are gonna to come together. The roles come in, the storytelling comes in, and now we're gonna introduce something like a game. There's gonna be some choices that you make that will influence the outcome of the story and game. Again, I'm curious if you're interested in this, but first, before I ask you if you're interested, I wanna know if you know what I'm talking about. So, what did you hear me say? May I say what in brief what you are you were saying? Aso from Iraq. Aso Aldori from Iraq. You want to go? Go ahead. Recapitulate what I said. Yes, you just said that uh, we have a, a role game, and each one of us has a, a role. He would be a character um, in this game, and uh, the the role of. Uh, those characters, maybe a teacher, a student, uh, the headmaster, or whatever, or even in a restaurant as a waiter. So uh, each one who would share, he would uh, um, uh, represent a, a character, a role in uh, this game. Uh, that would be his uh, share. That's right. Uh, so and uh, in the uh, so this game should be um, got uh, certain events. It would be a, got a, a beginning and the middle and the, the outcome of uh, this uh, game, just like a little bit the story, uh, uh, but uh, in uh, a way of, in the shape of a game. So it has a, a chain events should be uh, um, organized from the beginning till the end uh, and uh, coming to the result or the outcome of this game. Now, now, uh, Aso Aldori, you are putting words in my mouth. I didn't say all of those things. It's true. What you're saying is true. However, you're, you're, you're saying a lot more than I said, which is okay. I don't mind because it's true. And I agree with what you said. For example, a story has a beginning, a middle, maybe an end. Actually, in this game, 
maybe no end. You can keep telling the story on and on and on. We'll see. So that's why it's a little bit, um, you, but it's, your description is good enough. I, I like your description. It's close enough. I'm happy with it. Now, I changed my background, if you see. What did I change my background into? It's a mural. A mural? Isn't it? Oh, okay. Maybe. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. How? Uh, 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 I see. I see what you mean. Anybody else? What What does my background look like? It's a dungeon. Yeah, it's a dungeon. What is a dungeon? What is a dungeon? You can't see. There's some people. They're going into the dungeon. Where are they going? What's a dungeon? What do you do in a dungeon? What is it like in a dungeon? It's like an underground dark place. Uh-huh. Say your name and where you're from. Shifani, Sri Lanka. Uh-huh. Shifani from Sri Lanka. A dungeon is underground. It's a dark place. Anything else you want to say about what a dungeon is? is I guess right? you can... We can put dragons in there. Hold, hold on, Maruf. Uh, you could. Who? Who is you? Who? Who? Who puts dragons in a dungeon? A dungeon master. Oh, you're bringing in some new information. Who, what is a dungeon master? If you wanna, if you wanna tell people what something is, give them the context to understand it. If you use terms that are specialist terms like dungeon master that they don't know, you'll have to also give the meaning of those terms. Go ahead. I don't know, I, it's just a term uh, I've heard. Uh, yeah, well, you use the term, so you do know it. Now, we could get into an argument about what it means to know a word, but you used a word, you used it correctly for my guess, so you do know it. I assume that the dungeon has a dungeon master. But I'm not entirely sure of his role. Now you're bringing in more new information. Do you want to keep going? I don't know. What, what am I supposed to do now? Ah, what makes you think you're supposed to do anything? What do you want to do? Um, we were talking about the meaning of the word dungeon. Well, you were talking about the meaning of the word dungeon. You were going to tell us what a dungeon is. You brought in some new information that there's something called a dungeon master. And I was saying it would be useful to define it. You said you don't know what it is. And then, so now you're going into a kind of... No, hold on, French, you. And now you're, you're fumbling. You're like, oh, what am I supposed to do here? So again, the question is not what are you supposed to do, but what do you want to do? Where would you like to go? I can give you a fork. Would you like to hear the fork? Okay. You can... Continue to teach the group about dungeons and dungeon masters, or you could get curious about that line that you're going on. You're saying, actually, I don't know what a dungeon master is. So you've done both at the same time, and that's why you've created a bit of a fork. You've introduced a term, and you've said you don't know what it is. So either mm -hmm. one or the other, which way would you like to go? Tell people about Dungeon Masters or ask people about Dungeon Masters? A Dungeon Master is the master of a dungeon. And in this group, when we give definitions, we don't use the same words to define something because that's what's called a circular definition. Can you use different words to describe it? To define it. A dungeon master is a person who 
rains over this underground layer. Do you want to see if other people know what a dungeon master is? Yeah. Say anyone else. Anyone else? Hey, may I? No, I shouldn't say may I. I should Alex say, from Mexico. Alex from Mexico. I guess this is, is, I don't know if that's a man who <laughs> handles everything in the dungeon. I mean, takes, takes, takes care of the slaves if there are some slaves in the dungeon or of the dragons. Could be that the master who decides the punishment. That's my idea. It's uh -huh. not a definition. <laughs> Say anyone else. Anyone else. So you have an idea. It's somebody who takes care of the dungeon. Hello? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm going to tell you, I think for the 20th time today, in this group, we don't say hello. We say, we start with our name and where we're from because there are people coming in and out all the time. Okay. And we don't, we don't really, it's not so easy to recognize each other by our voice for a while. Even I have a hard time recognizing people by their voice after I've heard them many times. And there's a lot of people here who don't spend as much time in the group as I do. So it's not just for me, it's not just for you, it's for everyone in the group to make it easier to get to know each other. Each time I ask to please say your name. Okay, uh, Asol Duri from Iraq. Uh, the, I guess the, the word dungeon uh, master is uh, uh, the person who control or uh, responsible for a game inside that dungeon, inside that uh, uh, prison. Great. Yes. So he, he, they call him the dungeon master. Great. So I don't use the term dungeon master. I use a bit of a different term, game master, because the game is controlled by someone. Someone is like the teacher of the game. They run the game. And game master for me is a clearer word that tells you there's somebody hosting a game. The yes, game, you know the rules of that game. Tell me what I said. It. Tell, tell me what I said, Aso. You said that the uh, instead of say, saying the dungeon master, we uh, we uh, supposed to say the game master. Oh, well, I said it a little I said it a little differently cuz I I don't say supposed to. It's not really about what you're supposed to do. Okay. You said uh, you can uh, use it uh, and instead of saying the dungeon master, we can say uh, the game master. But that's what I use. Yeah, that's the term that I like to use is game master. <coughs> so we have a dungeon. That's part of the vocabulary of the game. And then a dungeon master or a game master is also part of the vocabulary of the game. The game master is one of the roles in so this do, game. So you would be a game master here in this case. Alex, I'm I so either I'm gonna speak or you're gonna speak. But if you if people ask me questions before I finish a thought, then oh, it creates yeah. a kind of traffic jam. So if gotcha. you want to if you want to ask a question, would you just hold off until I finish a thought? Sure. Or you can talk about what you think is going to happen. You have a prediction about what I'm going to do. Which would you like to do? Would you like to talk um, about the prediction of my of what I'm doing, or would you like to listen to what I'm describing? My prediction is that you go to the master's game. Your, 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 connect, your connection is a little broken up. I think yeah. you said. Yeah. I, you know. I, yeah. I yeah. agree on that. Yeah. I, I better stop by this moment. Okay. Okay. And let yeah, take, a break. Speak. take a break. Your connection is a little hard to talk, but I did hear your prediction is that you, I think you have a prediction that I'm going to be the game master. All right. Anyone else? So as I was saying, there are, I'm, I'm kind of giving the introduction in the game before playing, giving a little bit of an outline um, to help us know what we're doing. There is a role in the game called Game Master. 
And there's a role in the game called player. So it's true. For this time, I'm going to be the game master. And if you want, you might be a player. So if you'd like to be a player, let me know. Who would like to be a player? Of course, me. Count on me. Okay. So if you want to be a player, you can write in your name, player. I wrote in my name, game master, just for this, yeah. this trial game. Mm -hmm. We've got a game master. We've got a player. Now, the game master tells a story, introduces a situation, and then proposes, um, presents choices for the players. So, for example, you are starting in the city of Waterdeep. The city of Waterdeep is an old city on the coast of the Forgotten Realms in the north. It has a large harbor, many old buildings. There are some wizards that live there. There is an army. There is a cavalry of griffins. Griffins are a kind of monster. They have the head of an eagle and the body of a lion and wings like a pegasus, like a flying creature. And they fly around in the city, protecting the city. They are the griffin cavalry in the city of Waterdeep. And if you're a player in this story, that's where you're starting out. You're starting out at a tavern. A tavern is a place where you can go get food, you can go get drinks, you can go and um, rent a room for one gold piece a night. You can sleep there, rest, and think about what you wanna do. So your character is gonna start in the tavern called the Yawning Portal, it's the name of the, the tavern, the Yawning Portal, and it is in the city of Waterdeep. Here is your first choice. It's not a fork, it's actually a open-ended choice. If you have a character, I would like you to give your character a name and then tell me what it is. That's your first choice as a player. Alex, think of a name. Does anybody else want to be a player while Alex is thinking of a name? Me. Me is Shifani from Sri Lanka. Can you put the word player in your Zoom profile name? Just say yes or no. If you if it's no, I'll do it for you. Um you've already no, done it. I, you've already I done it. What? what? I didn't do it. No. Oh, okay. So Ahmed is helping me. Ahmed is a co-host. Ahmed. Ah, yeah. Ahmed is helping out. So you have, you're a player and now same thing for you. You're gonna think about a character name. Does anybody else want to be a player? Yes, me, Aswal Dur from Iraq. Okay, would you put the term player in your name? means to choose a role for me? Well, you're choosing a role. The, the role that's available for you is to be a player in the game. I'm not giving you the option of being the game master because I'm the game master. But if you wanted, you could stay in your role as student in the class. So do you want to be both a student and a player or just a student and an observer? To be a student and observer as well. Okay. So we've got three players. We've got Alex, Shifani, and Asso. And now I would like to know what your choices are for your character names. This is familiar from the time we've been doing role plays. I've already asked people to choose names for their characters when we did role plays. So it should be familiar. Do you have a name for your character? Sandrella. <laughs> ah, Sandrella. <laughs> Put that in your name too. Player three, Sandrella. Shifani, Alex, do you have a player name, a character name? Yeah, can it be a fantasy name? It's okay. Like it can be, um, you want some restrictions for the name. Sure. It has to be less than 10 letters. A smurf. Lady huh? living on smurf. Smurf? Yeah, okay. you know this from Thundercats? Yeah, I know what it, oh, 
I don't know. You'll have to spell it for me. I thought you were okay. saying smurf. I thought you were saying smurf, but you're saying snarf. Sure. S N A. Oh, that's snarf. Snarf. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that's S- the S- name. <laughs> yeah, that one. Snarf. S N A R F. Sure. You yeah. can be snarf. Hey, can somebody and, do it for me, please? Ahmed, are you are you continuing to help give people the names? Okay. So Alex is snarf. Ah, so I can't remember your name already. What was your name again? Cinderella. Cin- Cinderella. Yes. Cinderella, okay. Shifani? I put it in the chat. Oh, I'm not following the chat. Can you tell oh. us what it is? Jenna. Jenna. Jenna, great. So we have Snarf, Cinderella, and Jenna. And the story begins on a warm summer afternoon in the tavern of the yawning portal, three adventurers have gathered together for an adventure, for a reason. What is that reason? Yet to be determined. The tavern is mostly empty. There was a party there last night and some of the workers, the bar staff are cleaning up broken bottles, some blood on the floor. You don't even know where the blood came from. You weren't here at the party. You were sleeping in the inn the night before and you heard the ruckus, you heard the noise and you decided it wasn't any of your business. You would continue to sleep. But now you're in the main room of the tavern You've just finished your lunch of sausages and bread soaked in olive oil, and you're feeling pretty good. You're feeling pretty excited. This is the first time you've ever been to the city of Waterdeep. You've heard many stories. Oh, now uh, I'm going to hold, hold off. I see, Ahmed, you've changed people's names just to include their player name. And I'd rather, I, it's okay for now, but I like having both because otherwise I might forget people's real names. So I'd rather just have like a line that says, you know, Alex, um, country, role, then player name, but don't worry about it. We'll get, we'll get this down. Um, I, I, I already know these three people's names, but if they start uh, looking like Scandra, whatever, it's fine. It, it's going to be a little bit messy. So you have, a, you have this introduction. I'm giving you as the game master the introduction to the story. And here comes your next choice. Your character is going to have a job. Your character is going to have a race because this is a fantasy story and there are fantasy creatures in this fantasy world. Olina, you have your hand up. Did you want to say something? Yes. Can I play a game too? Yeah, you can. So okay. if you want to, if you want to play, just put player in your name and give your uh, give your character a name. Tell us what it is. Thank you, James. Um, I want to be honest. You know, I'm not afraid of participating, but I see my internet connection keeps on having problems. So I think I should stop playing and we can get somebody else because it it is not going to be fluent the game if i keep having now problems i hear you just fine but you know your internet better than me so if you want to pull out no worries sure so i can stay i can stay yeah yeah yeah. i can hear you fine now go ahead and stay if it becomes a problem if it becomes a problem we can kick you out pretty easily don't worry about it done okay so The next step, as I was saying, is you're going to choose some things about your character, a little bit of your background, your job, and your race. So a few choices. Maybe if you are a fan of fantasy stories, you know a little bit about the kinds of races that exist in fantasy stories. Even if you don't, maybe even if you don't like fantasy stories, you may still know the language. So Does anybody know what are some things that are like fantasy races? What's a fantasy race? 
an example of a fantasy race? Elves. Say your name and your country every time you speak. Shifani, Sri Lanka, elves. Uh huh. Elves. Great. Say anyone else. Anyone else? Elves are one example of a fantasy race. They live in the forest. They have pointy ears. What do you call the fantasy race of short, stout men, maybe women, who live underground? Dwarves, right? D dwarves, yes. Elves, dwarves. Are there any other fantasy races that you've heard of or can imagine? Uh, this is Muhtar. Were werewolves. Oh, werewolves. Now, that's interesting. A werewolf is a fantasy creature. I would call that, an, in this game, a monster. Now, what is the difference between a fantasy race and a monster? It's based on the game. It's, not, it's, it's arbitrary. In this game, the players don't get to be werewolves. The players are going to go into an adventure and they're going to, they might meet a werewolf. Things that you'd think are scary, like a werewolf, things that are tend to be dangerous and scary tend to be the monsters. And you won't be, that won't be a race. In the game, the races are going to be something more like a human and less like a monster. Maybe a wizard, James? Is oh, great. Yeah. No, but great guess. And why not? Because a wizard is more like a job. So I was saying you could, you're going to have a few choices. You choose your race, you choose your job, and you choose your background. So the race could be like human, dwarf, elf. That's one choice. Dwarflands. Hold on, let me finish. Then the second choice is going to be a job, like Alex gave an example, wizard. What are some other fantasy jobs you can imagine? What did you say, Skandra? Or not Skandra, Aso? Uh, uh, goblins, like genies. I'm um, sorry, what? A genius? A genie? Genies, genies, just, just those like uh, goblins, they call them in the fairy tales. Uh, I'm not familiar. Can you spell it? Jobland? Goblins. Goblin. Oh, great. So a goblin is what I would call a race, more like a monster, less than a player. But a goblin is a fantasy creature. Great. Do, but I'm asking a different question. I'm asking about a job. And a job, a job is actually very similar to a role. So you have a fantasy role, like the activities that you do in the game. I'll, I'll just tell you because it's um, maybe it's a little bit unfamiliar. You could be a warrior, like somebody who fights with a sword. You could be a priest. A somebody, you could be a princess. A princess would be a fantasy job or role. Yes. Sandra, I will be uh, taking this uh, as I am the one who uh, acting this role. So I would be okay. the princess of Great. the castle. You are giving yourself the job of princess. Okay, we can go with that. Did you also want to choose a race? Elf, human, dwarf? Uh, uh, so, yeah, you have three choices. You need to choose a race. Elf, human, dwarf. You need to choose a job. Wizard, priest, princess, warrior, something like that. And then, well, we'll leave background off. So Alex, Alex one of the world. hold on. That's right. Alex, Shafani, Greta, excuse me, not Greta. See, that's why I get confused if you, if you erase people's real names. I'd like to keep people's real names um, in the Zoom profile. Who was Greta? I don't remember the player that is Greta. Uh, it's me, Olina. Olina, great. 
Olina, do you have some choices? Did you make some choices about your fantasy race, fantasy job? Um, is which all right? Which, yeah, a which would be, let's call it a fantasy job, a job of which. And um, it, yeah. Do you want to be a human, an elf, or a dwarf, Greta? Uh, Greta, Olina? A, a human. Great. A human witch. We have a human witch. We have Aso. You're a, what kind of princess? A human princess? Yes. And Snar for Alex. Did you choose a job? Shifani from Sri Lanka. Did you choose a, a fantasy race and job? Elf witch. Elven witch. Hum okay, yeah. we've got an elven witch, a human witch, a human princess. You're the last one to choose Alex. You're frozen, so he might be frozen. I'm going to leave it because he said his internet was bad. So the three characters are in the tavern. And here's the part. The last part is your background. I don't want it to get too complicated, but could you think of a fantasy background? Who are you? Who is Greta, the human witch? Where does she come from? What is her personality? What else do you want to tell us about your character, Greta, the human witch? Same thing for you, Shifani and Alex. What and um, and so tell us a little bit about this person the character that you're creating. Who wants to go first? Me. Also, Me you... is a so. Me is a so. A so, go ahead. Yes, uh, uh, a little uh, princess who seems to be uh, beautiful, uh, young and with uh, long hair. She's a kind and a nice person. Um, she treated everyone uh, uh, in good way. And um, uh, she is, uh, um, this is what I got in my mind. She's a good person. Great, that's she's good pretty. enough. Great. Yes. She's, she's very kind and pretty. That's basically it. Great. Anyone else want to give the background, personality, description of your character? Yeah. Shifani, uh, Jenna is an elven witch uh, whose parents died in a huge war. Uh, and her parents were a warrior and nature witch. And so that's her training. Uh, her parents died in a war and her parents yeah. were, uh, did you say a warrior and a nature witch? Yeah. And that's where she, be, she learned about being a witch. Yeah, and she learned she learned from both her parents. She learned from both her parents. Great. Uh, okay. Um, did we? Yeah. O Olina, do you want to tell us a little bit about Ol Olina or Alex? Do you want to tell us your background, your character background? Um, yeah, I'm just thinking, thinking about it. And I'm, I decided that I came from underwater palace um i agreed with the um, queen of the of the country and uh, i am chasing haven't created yet <laughs> uh, uh, uh that's fine I, I i'm just trying to do two things at once tell me again you the witch came from an underwater palace underground underground, underground palace Palace, okay. yeah. uh, I grew with uh, the queen or, or the queen or the king of their country. I, I didn't understand. Arguing with the king and queen of the country? What? Yeah, yes, agreed. What, what is agreed? I had a I, word. I, oh, I had a fight. Oh, yeah, argued. Okay, great. Yeah. So she was a witch. She came from an underground palace and she's been arguing with the king and the queen. Excellent. All right. Yeah. 
Now, so we have a few. Oh, Alex, are you there? Do you have something? Yeah, I'm going to be the boy who was abandoned by a family. No, for family, they gave into a better family with a better, we can call it better social position. But this family was a family of wisdom. That's why I became a wizard. All right. Your, yes. your, fa your family abandoned you mm -hmm. and then you were taken in by wizards and raised by wizards and that's how you became a wizard. Right on. Okay. Is that clear? Clear enough. Um, now, can you hear some of the sound in the background? Yes. What What do you hear? Where Where does it sound like you are? Music. You hear some music. Anything else? People chatting. People, People are cha laughing. People are chatting. People are laughing. Yeah. yeah where are there, there's some where, meeting kind of party? Yeah. It's out yeah, in the it's, tavern. It sounds like a party. Shifani said you're in a tavern. Yeah, we're in a tavern. You're in the tavern. Do you remember the name of the tavern? It's called the Yawning Portal. Oh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna write that name in the chat because it's a little bit of an unusual uh, name. The Yawning Portal. Do you know the word yawning? What is yawning? Like boring. Ah, it's it's true. Sometimes when we get bored, we yawn. We go. Oh, I'm asleep. Oh, 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 that's yawning. Now, drowsy. well, uh, it, drowsy, but actually, no. See, it does not mean drowsy. Feeling it's, sleepy. Hold on, hold on. No, it does not mean feeling sleepy. Yawning is just the activity of doing this. Oh, that's the activity of yawning. And yes, when you feel sleepy, often you are yawning. But the meaning, the meaning of yawning, it means opening. So oh, by when your action, yeah, when your okay. mouth, your mouth is opening, ah, that's Why opening, open? yawning. Also, okay, get it. yes. Uh, it's so, just like wide open mouth on yeah, your money. Yeah, wide open. Now, portal. Have you ever heard of the word portal? Of course. What does it mean? To me, it's the way to go to a different world or era. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It is like a magic door. Right on. Actually, portal just means door. It's a different word for door. Often people use it to talk about a magic door, a, a door that goes to a magic place, but it doesn't have to be, it can be an ordinary door. We can call that a portal. So yawning portal means open, big open door. And the reason for that is this tavern is very special. What do you usually have in a tavern? How would you describe, what, what do you expect to find inside a tavern? And now, now I just yeah. wanna say, we, we've been hearing a lot from Shifani and Alex and um, Aso, but the characters, they're, we're not, we're, we're talking about the game and we're playing. So sometimes the characters have choices and only the characters will make choices for themselves. But if we're talking about the game, anybody anybody can answer. Anybody can um, come in yes. and answer, right? So, so this question, right, where I'm saying like, what's in a tavern? Anybody who wants to feel free, you can answer that question. What do you expect to find in a tavern? Chatting. People who are chatting, okay. We, we know that because we're hearing 
Some of the music sounds like that. And what else might you find in a tavern? Fights. Lights? Fights. Fights. Oh, fights. You think yeah. people might be fighting? Now, keep, keep to the way we still play in all of our classes, Alex. Don't just come in. Say your name. I, wanna, I want to hear people's names. And also, hold on. Players, you guys had answered quite a bit. I want to bring some other people in. So hold on. People we have not heard from much. What do you expect to find in a tavern? Uh, this is Hassan. May I try? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as far as I've watched from the movies, there must be a singer, barman, uh, barrels of beer or wine. Some people are getting drunk. Uh, some of them uh, slow down uh, slow down slow down what's the is the first thing that you said the first thing you said was it a a singer someone singing yeah, yeah. oh okay yeah maybe there's somebody singer, singing barman um, a barman uh, yeah um, and uh, um, barrels of wine or beer yes uh, yes um, now yeah go ahead some people who are getting drunk or having fun, uh, or mm, maybe uh, having dinner or lunch, I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Great, a good joyful enough. Area. Huh? A joyful area. A joyful mm, area. People are, yeah. Pe people are having fun, they're relaxing, yeah. they're talking, exactly. drinking, there's a bartender. Great. Dancing, yeah, yeah. Great. getting drunk. Now, in this bar, all of that is true. There's somebody singing. There's play, there's, they're playing music. There's a barman behind the counter. There's glass bottles filled with drinks. But Table, chairs. Tables, chairs. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me finish my thought. So in addition to this, all of the stuff you expect, there is something that you don't expect in this bar because it's a special bar named the Yawning, Ta the Yawning Portal. In the middle of the room... There is a big hole in the floor. There's a big hole in the floor. And the hole, going into the hole, there is a rope. A rope that you might climb up or climb down. And everybody knows down in that hole is the dungeon. This dungeon has a special name. The dungeon's name is called Under Mountain. It's the name of the dungeon. And many people come from around in the city or outside the city. They come to visit the dungeon. They take a chance and they go climbing down to explore, to look for treasure, to look for secrets, to challenge their abilities inside the underground cave, castle, tunnels, hallways, rooms, um, who knows? There might be something there that you don't expect, but that's what's in this room. That's why the tavern is called the Yawning Portal. And the owner of the bar, his name is Durnin. He built this bar and he is very famous for having the yawning portal and inviting people sometimes to go into the dungeon. And sometimes he stops people from going into the dungeon. And that's what's happening in this story right now. We have three or four people, Greta, Snarf, Janna, and As Cin Asso, Cinderella. And they yes. have a plan to go inside the dungeon. But the owner of the yawning portal is not going to let them. He's going to say, no, you can't go into the, the dungeon. It's too dangerous. And we're going to do that role play right now. We're going to have a conversation between the four players, characters, and the bartender. So we need one more player, somebody who wants to play the bartender named Durnin. Who would like to play Durnin? If nobody wants to, I will play Dernan very happily. Nobody wants to play Dernan? Okay. 
I'll be Dernan. So I'm going to write in my name. Dernan. And then we're going to do a role play just like we do our other role play activities. So players, are you ready? Yes. Yes, Captain, we're ready. Okay. Action. Yes. Anyone can start. Do we have a line to follow? Cut. Alex, I asked if you were ready and you said yes. And then we started and you're like, wait a minute, what do I say? What should I say? Is that, are you gonna start? Am I gonna start? I like to separate very clearly talking as players and talking as characters. So I said cut to stop the role play. And now, all right, I have I have two roles. I have my game master or character of Dernan, James or Dernan. Now I'm speaking as James. I'm gonna answer your question. You can say whatever you want. That's what we do in the game. You say whatever you want. It's your character. You control it. You can say whatever you like. There's no script. Use your creativity. Use what you know about the story and do your best. You want to try that? Yeah, yeah. I just want to remember the name of the other characters. I have well, Greta, Greta, and I have three, three characters more. Jana, Greta, Cinderella. And maybe right. somebody can put that in the chat. Got it. Snarf. John, Greta, Cinderella. Okay. Here I go. Hey, All right. Girls. Ready, action. Hey, girls. Would you like to go under the ground? I mean, would you like to, to, to go through the hall to see what's going on down there? Yes. Yeah, I'm already on it. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. That's a good idea. All right. So how can we do this? Good question. That's what I was going to ask you. We need to ask the bartender, I guess. I am an evil witch and I have a special power. Can you find out. Um so let's talk to the bartender. Mm -hmm. Will you? I think you're better looking than me. You can talk to him. Yeah, so where is the bartender? Is he here? I think if one of you goes and talk to him, you can be even seductive, you know? Did you get it? Why don't you go and be seductive? Because I guess he's not going to like me. You don't know that. I don't know, it's the way I look. You know, I'm a wizard and not, not many people like wizards. They don't trust us. Okay, I guys, I will start talking to him. I will give it a try. You don't mind. Do it. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so uh, now I suppose to talk with Darnan, the uh, responsible for. Yeah. Okay. Um, no. But we can make him asleep. No, don't do that. Hello, Mr. Darnin. Yeah, how can I help you? Well, uh, me and my friends want to try uh, to enter uh, the uh, dungeon if you don't mind. Oh, you want to go into Undermountain? Are you prepared? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds uh, something mysterious inside there, and we want to discover what is there, actually. Oh, well, that wasn't my question. I know it's mysterious. I know you want to go and find out what's in Undermountain, but I asked you, are you prepared? What do you mean, I'm uh, if I am prepared or not? Does I have, uh, should I have something to hold, or you mean something in person that I should be a, a powerful 
person or what? What do you mean? You know what's in that dungeon? There's a lot of monsters in that dungeon. What are you gonna do when you're walking down the hallway and from around the corner, a shadow comes out to suck the life out of your soul? Are you gonna be prepared or are you gonna die? Oh, it sounds uh, that you shocked me, actually. I feel a little bit scared. Good, you should be scared. It's a dangerous place down there. Uh, but I don't know if my friends would share me if they uh, decided all to go in. I would share them. I wouldn't leave them alone. Well, How about maybe... you guys? Yes, we are ready. We can help each other. Yeah, we are going to do it anyway. Okay. Ooh. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. So we should stay together, guys. We shouldn't separate from each other. It is a dangerous place, sounds. Hey, no the problem. question is, should we go by ourselves or are you, Jordan, going to take us down there? That would be interesting to know. What? You are want you me? Take you want you? me to go? No. Yeah, I'm busy. Coming. No, I'm Ooh. definitely not going. I'm here running the bar. You want me to leave the bar? Look at all these patrons here. Who's going to yeah, feed yeah. them? Who's going to take care of their drinks? No. So I take the lead, okay? Like I said, don't say I didn't warn you. And if you want to go down, remember one thing. It costs one gold piece per person to go down into the dungeon and one gold piece to come back up. If when you're down there, you don't have one gold piece, we might just leave you down in the hole. Got it? Got it. All right. Cut. Okay, who will start getting down and using the rope? Who's oh, first? Oh, 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 oh. So I called cut, and that means we stop the role play. We come out of the characters, back into real people, your real okay. self, right? We go now, we're Aso and uh, Shivani, Olina, and Alex again. And we have just four minutes left. So I'm going to stop the music. We're going to come back into the whole group for really quick surprises, learnings for just this one hour of Dungeons and Dragons role playing. Does anybody have a surprise, a learning, satisfaction, dissatisfaction, discovery, or next move? This is calm. Really, really to the satisfaction. <laughs> To this role play, I exactly very accelerating to join, but um, somehow I am facing some internet problem. But really, Alex and Mr. Zenz, your voice is like that we are that time. So I really much enjoy. So thank you for that. Anyway, great. Else? Other surprises, learnings. Yeah, me as so well. Wait, wait, wait. One at a time, Leela, and then yeah. who? Leela, and then who? As will do we. Uh, so go ahead, Leela. Yes. Uh, it is a surprise for me because in the play rules, what you are talking, I didn't get any single word. Oh. Yes. oh. You were surprised that when we were playing the story characters, you mm -hmm. didn't understand a single word. Single word, what you are talking. Okay. That is surprising. Yeah. Uh, so surprise or learning? Yes, I feel so excited uh, being uh, um, it, and representing uh, a role or sharing in that game uh, feels um, something new and uh, uh, we didn't uh, or we haven't tried that before to uh, share uh, something uh, audible and by speaking I mean and using a conversation uh, as a role just like in a play or it, it's just like acting in a play. So uh, it is um, a new uh, experience and a new um, 
uh, issue to be included here and it breaks the daily routine of uh, just uh, have a mere lessons and the grammar rules or even conversation together to improve our English. It is also enjoyable and uh, get the benefits of using many uh, different um, uh, vocabulary uh, that uh, we improve uh, our English level. And in the same time, we are enjoying ourselves by uh, talking to each other as an actor and actresses. So, so you are a creative person. You're the dominant of this game and you are so creative. You have a satisfaction about me being creative and about the activity being new and refreshing, fun, exciting. And you have a discovery that it's something that we can do to learn vocabulary, uh, act, um, have fun together while, the while learning. Yes. Yeah, great. Um, last surprises learnings, I think. Um, oh, yeah, anybody. This is Alina. I'm very satisfied with involving them playing the game. Uh, it was a bit tricky, but uh, very interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. Ekla from Morocco. In the beginning of the game, I had I had no idea what uh, you were talking about, but when you started to give definitions and explanations of the dungeon dragons and the way you played the role play, it was amazing. I enjoyed it too much, and thank you. You are creative. Yay! Great. I would love to do this again. Oh, Moon Me. This is Moon Me. Yeah. I liked um, Alex's part and no wonder yours is dominating voice. That is really give me a sense of really something happening. Yeah, thank you so much. I enjoyed it. Great. Uh, I, so I will end my class there. I would love to do it again. I'll probably, I'll, we'll see, maybe make an announcement of when. So if you want to do it again, you can find it and leave it there. Thank you, everybody. I'm done for today. I'll see you next time. I'm passing over to Nelly. Um, thank you so much, Nelly. Over to you and bye everyone for today. Hello. Thank you. Bye, Yems. Uh -huh. Thank you, Barrow. Bye, Mr. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bartender. Bye, bye. <laughs> <As -salam. laughs> yeah. Hello. Welcome Hello, to my class. Nelly. Hi, Hello. Nelly. Hey. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Hello, Nelly. Um. Hello, hello. Okay, my class is for open conversation. And um, I just like to open the floor today. See where we go. Nelly, excuse me, I was in attention. Do you say something? I would like to know what you said. Mm -hmm. uh, can you start what you say with uh, saying, "I'm"? this is Alex from Mexico? Oh, yeah. This is Alex from Mexico. I want to apologize because I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying. I'm mm -hmm. really sorry. I would like to know what you said. And, and when you are finished speaking, can you say anyone else? Oh, anyone else? But I'm asking you what you just <laughs> oh, okay. I'm asking you what you said. You, you want, I didn't hear you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You want to have the sure. Yeah. You'd like to have the answer from me. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm inviting you actually to to check if the group, if someone in the group might know. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. would you like to do that or? Yeah, yeah. Some anyone else, please go ahead. Thanks. So now anyone else can say, um, and they can either join Alex. They can also say, oh, Nelly, I, I really don't know what we are doing here. What's the purpose for being here? 
Um, or you can say um, what you heard me say, what you understood that I said, what yeah. you think that it's, that is going to happen now here in this class. Mm. So. And All Alex, right. you, you just passed on. So let's see if somebody else can. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and that. This is Amira. <clears throat> uh, you said uh, about open conversation. The floor of open conversation. Yes. Okay. Anyone else? So you heard me say that we will have open conversation. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so anyone else who wants to speak? I want to talk with the Kelvin? Hard to understand you. I think I'm muting. No. Somebody is listening to me. Ah, now I can hear you. Who, what about who is now? Speaking? I guess. Who is speaking, Kelvin? For well, um, we, we are here for sharing idea, information, and open discussion to know about something new. I'm muting some people. Please mute yourself if you are not speaking so if there's background noise uh, the other voices are still audible hmm. and muhammad uh, you said we are having an open conversation yes would you say yes. uh, where you're from? To just I'm to... from Afghanistan. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I say that uh, we are here for open conversation, sharing idea, information, thought with each other, just for uh, to learn something new from each others. This is all over to you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And you can end your what you're saying by saying anyone else. Anyone, anyone else can share his mm -hmm. thought, his or her thought. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, this is Muhtar from Tunisia. Hello. Hello, Nelly. Well, uh, as it is an open conversation, I'd like to say something to Alex. Um, Alex is a discovery to me today. Uh, you know, I watched him acting in a game played uh, in the previous session. And he's really a discovery. He's a good actor. And I think um, Alex, uh, a star is born today. Anyone else? Greetings, all fellow students and friends. And especially... This is... Mm -hmm. mm, nice to have him here. And uh, opening conversation... So, justice, let's open it up, open the conversation. Anyone else?
Uh, this is a song from Turkey. As far as I see, someone has to uh, choose the topic to discuss. <clears throat> you, you'd like the group to settle on a topic different than the topic of Alex being a, an actor? <laughs> Uh, to be honest, uh, you know, um, I'm not really good at art. I'm an engineer. I like numbers. Uh, so uh, I cannot say that uh, I'm, um, I'm a well experienced on art. So I have no idea. But as far as I see, uh, he did great. Anyone else? Yeah, I forgot. Yes, yeah, uh, this is Lila. Lila, you want to speak? Yes. Yeah, I want to speak. I don't know what uh, you are going to say, but I'm looking for a partner to talk. So if it is possible, so you can create a breakout room for me, then I can talk with someone. Hmm. You're, you're looking for a, a conversation partner? Yes, exactly. Um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not offering a session with breakout rooms. So, okay, then. Um, but I'm inviting you to speak in the group. Yes, that's what about, I see. About your what you like about breakout rooms. Oh, nothing. I just want to talk. Anything, any topic. So, because I don't know what you are going to say and what you are going to ask, uh, so that's why I see it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is um, Asan from Turkey. Okay. Uh, wait a moment, okay. Lila, have, have you finished speaking? Mm, not yet, I'm just asking you. Mm -hmm. So, if it is possible, so you can create our Otherwise, I can hear you or do others. Yeah, I'm inviting you to stay in the main group for my class. Okay. I'm, I, I don't want to have the additional responsibility for breakout rooms. And okay. there will be other opportunities with breakout rooms possibly, but not this class. So. OK, it's OK, no problem. Not a big deal. Uh, Thank you. Uh, this, this is Mukhtar from Tunisia. Mm -hmm. Maybe may I suggest a topic? Nelly? Um, um, I'm just asking if, if you want me to suggest a topic for oh. the conversation. Um, does it make sense to you? To yeah, I think yeah, I think because because I think we are a bit lost now on, on how what we are supposed to speak about. I agree. <laughs> right. Okay. So right. the groups open to your. Uh, uh, All topic. right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I am going to tell you, and um, um, something very important happened yesterday in my school where I work. We had um, a small ceremony to pay tribute to two of our colleagues who um, who are going to retire uh, sometime soon, maybe by the end of this summer. So I, I'd like to I'd like to get some feedback about this from from the group members here. If they think paying tribute to someone who is going to retire is a good idea. Do they need it? Do they really need it? Is it important to them? Is it important to us? Um, and if they do something like that in their, in their countries and in their working places. Back to you and to the group. This is Alex from Mexico. I'm gonna be brief. I think they deserve. They deserve that for all the time there was, they were servicing the state because they're, they're teachers, right? Or they were teachers. Am I right? 
sorry. Yeah, you're right. Of course, they, they were teachers. They are teachers, yeah. So in my opinion, I think, or I guess they deserve it. Anyone else? Ali, Afghanistan, but I have been living in Indonesia. Nice to see you all in here. It is my first time I join you. So, Sisha. Welcome, Ali. Thank you. Would you like to, like to, to speak on this topic as well? Or about some other question that you have, something you'd like to know the uh, opinion of the group? Uh, no, I don't have any idea, but I don't know the role in this group, what kind is it? But I, I'm going to learn from you. Maybe in the next uh, meeting, I will know the role. Uh, that just Listen to your guys. You just like want to to listen and learn. Yeah, and because it is my first uh, time I join oh. join you in a meeting. I don't know what kind of role and regulation is it in here. That's, hmm. yeah. Well, um, we are having a an open conversation, and hmm. currently we are. Um, uh, Mokhtar has has suggested a topic. He has a he had a question um, to the group. Uh, he has a, his personal situation and and he's he'd like to know the opinion of other people in the group about that situation. And the way we work here is that you can um, bring something similar if you also have a curiosity about something and you would like to know the opinion of the other members in the group about it you can ask here you can just bring that question to the group or that's one op uh, option and another option is to um if you'd like to try and answer the question that somebody has raised so <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for your explanation. Thank you. Do you know if you want to do one of those things? Bring a question yeah. or speak about your opinion? Yes, next time. All right. So if you want to just step back and give it back to the group, you could say anyone else. Okay. Can you say yeah, that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's... This is Khan. Mm -hmm. This is Khan. Khan from? Uh, sorry. This is Khan from Bangladesh. So um, if group uh, just give me some feedback uh, like that. Uh, I have a just weird question for group. Uh, which teacher do you like among all the teachers in this platform, James English plat uh, platform? So... This is not a good question. <laughs> hey, Hassan, please. Yes, I agree it's, with Hassan. Kind has the floor. Excellent, excellent. I agree. No, it's conversational question. It's make not very good. Yeah, question. Yasin, uh, it's. I think the question is completely legitimate. So, can you are interested in um, which teachers people in the group like? Which yeah, classes exactly. they like? Yeah, exactly. I've enjoyed it. I have group. also one question. Just, no, no, no. It's Khan's turn. So, yeah, uh, Khan, back. you, you, you would end by, um, by saying anyone else. No, no. Back to the group. I would like group. to know my answer exactly. Okay. All right. This is the song. May I say something from Turkey? Mm hmm. Okay, uh, I, uh, to be honest, I don't like these questions and I don't like these type of questions uh, because, you know, um, teammates, 
shouldn't compare between each other. Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, they are not, they cannot work together. Uh, I mean, imagine or um, assume that each team uh, made uh, as a soldier. So they should support each other. When you, when you, when you start a race between, uh, between them, so uh, you can give big damages to, to the system that you want to build on. So in this case, okay, um, there are some teachers, uh, some, of, some of them, the, their English is really nice, uh, but I cannot say the same for all teachers. But in this case, I mean, if you want to save your structure, or if you want to lead your structure in safe, uh, as I mentioned before, you shouldn't uh, compare uh, team uh, mates between each other. That's why I found that question a little bit, not tricky, but danger, dangerous. So, so now I'd like to say something. And um, I'd like to say that now we have a situation where two different subgroups are clashing together. There is Khan, who thinks it's a good idea to talk about which teachers members of the group like. And there's Hassan, who thinks it's a bad idea. <laughs> to talk about that because it would create chaos in the group. And I, I just want to point that out. And if we are, and usually in a conversation, it often happens that now somebody will speak out of Khan's subgroup and say, no, Hassan, that's wrong what you're saying. <laughs> and then after that, someone from uh, Hassan's subgroup will say, no, <laughs> that's. But I, by, by, but I didn't say that the question was wrong. I mean, this question, for example, you have your own room, okay? For example, you 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 have your you are holding some coordination meetings uh, with the teachers. You can discuss this topic there, but as you see, there are lots of learners here. In this case, to discuss this topic cannot be useful for the structure that you want to build on. That was what I meant. I didn't say that the question was wrong, but I said it shouldn't have be it shouldn't have discussed here. That was you what think I said. that the space here is not a good space to discuss this place, English class is, is not a good space place. to di discuss this question. Exactly. Uh, and you're this you're dissatisfied, Hassan. Um, you're dissatisfied with me as a leader of this class to um, to encourage people talking about that. Uh, no, no, no. I, uh, I don't have any dissatisfactions <clears throat> about any teachers because, as I said many times uh, before, I mean, I, 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 I have no well, idea about teachers. I, well, so that's why I cannot say, okay, you are I'm a teacher. I was she encouraging this, this topic to be talked about and you were saying no that's not a good idea so you probably have are annoyed with me no i mean here i am not a decision maker you are but you are a decision maker can you can, that's why you can do whatever you want if you want to discuss this topic yeah why not you can discuss uh, what i said was only a friendly advice that's it i'm not a decision maker here you're concerned that's it Okay, so um, um, uh, I don't can I speak? Wait, wait, yeah. wait a moment, Mohan. Uh, I just can want I... to, I just want to say uh, we can speak about Khan's topic or Hassan's subgroup, but I don't want to go back and forth between the two. So I want to choose one of them and work with that. And the people who dislike it and feel have strong feelings about it, I want them to just stay silent and maybe watch, uh, make eye contact with Hassan or with Khan because they are in their subgroup and they can, they feel in a similar way about what's happening in the group. And um, yeah, so I will open the floor up again. And the first person who speaks, <laughs> we will stay with that subgroup. <laughs> I will block the other subgroup for a while okay uh, uh, if, if you want if you want i can give a, 
uh, answer for the pre previous question. Hassan, you're you're speaking. Yeah, okay, this is Hassan from Turkey. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, as you know, uh, when when we start our business life, uh, sometimes we spend much more time uh, than we have uh, with our uh, family members. You know. Sometimes we are spending much more time with our colleagues. So uh, while working, uh, sometimes we, we face with uh, problems. Sometimes we have experienced good days, bad days together. When we face with problems, uh, we, we try to overcome this problem together. In this case, uh, yeah, uh, I totally agree, uh, Alex. Uh, they deserve the ceremony. ceremony. Uh, no, 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 Hassan, we are not with the ceremony right now. We are with the Ooh. problem of what we are discussing, uh, whether it's okay to discuss about teachers or not. Sorry for interruption. We can make a pool and everyone who likes that thumbs up and those who don't like that thumbs down. Isn't good idea? Uh, Who said that? This is James. Who said that? Yasin. Yasin. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. Yasin, would you let me know what your own preference is before you're asking from, the group? From James. I'm going to take this from James. We shouldn't take anything personal. Who is the speaking? The internet in us is not good today. Ah, Alex? Ah, yeah. I see. <laughs> I, I think I'm having problems with my internet. But I want to I wanna quote James when he says, don't take it personal. It's just an opinion. That's it. You can say what you think. You're free to talk. So I, as, as I feel free to say, who's my favorite teacher? I'm going to say, Min Lin. That's my favorite teacher. <laughs> Nobody has to be hurt. I'm just saying my opinion. Don't take it. Anyone else? So um, now we are with Khan's subgroup, I, and we are gonna stay there <laughs> for a while. Right. Uh, to, this is this is. I Muhtar want to say my yeah? opinion. This is Muhammad. I want to say my opinion. I'm agree with Khan. We should know about who is the best teachers that he teach us and on what he want to spend our time. So we are coming here and spending time for a very clear purpose. The purpose of spending of our time is here to improve our learning to improve our skill or to improve our attitude. So this is very clear impact that we want to have at the end of the classes. So if we, if we close the classes without any specific result, then it means that we are going to miss the time. So missing the time is not good for us. So I'm agree with Hassan and also with Khan. If we know about the teacher, who is the best one? With whom we can go to continue? Are you there? Are you hearing me? I can hear you, yeah. You think it's it's very easy to determine uh, if a teacher is good, if a class is good for you, and it's probably different for every individual. Everyone has their own um, things they, they see value in, and, and they, everyone can know for themselves what's helpful for them. It's really important to think about it and to be aware of what is helpful for you. And 
So also which with which teacher it's easiest for you to learn? And that's important information? Yes, of course. I mean that uh, as Han requested from us, or uh, he raised a question to the group about which one which 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 one of the teacher will be the best one who can or which teacher is the best one so it is better to we answer to him according to our observation based on the reality based on the exercise that the teacher have already done in this group in previous moment of the time. So his question is very valuable question, very valuable question. He actually, he got the importance of the time. We are also know the importance of the time. So it is better to we know about the best teacher if the participant divided by in subgroup who is happy with who who can understand or can easy understand understood from which teacher like this sorry for something i, I hope you got the point some uh, uh, as uh, I have difficulties Would you like to in... know if I yes. or others have understood your? Yes, your yes, idea? yes, of course. Yes, thank you. W would anyone like to summarize what you have heard? Yes, of course. For what you have heard Muhammad say? Uh, can I try? Sure. Myself, Kanzan from Bangladesh. So, yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, could you just name your name because I I hear you but I can't see your name. Muhammad. Okay, Muhammad. Mr. Muhammad, you said to us exactly. Um, said to us, uh, time is very valuable, and which teacher uh, uh, theory we like most, or which teacher exactly valuable for you, and which teacher a guideline you follow that. I mean, you think that that is fruitful for you and uh, um, for for crucial for um, your um, development or improvement. So uh, that's teacher going to be uh, your future teacher or favorite teacher. So is it so you are uh, trying to say us? Yes, I agree, but your question was uh, not uh, general, not only specific for me. It is not valuable only for me. I told that it's valuable question for all of us to know the best one. You got the point? Uh, yep. Did you yep. got the point? Yep. Can, can you I, summarize the I, last point that yes, Mohammed? Yes, I mean that Han question is valuable for all of us, not only just for me because all of us are uh, have a very specific uh, like uh, a very specific goals for coming here all of us are coming here join the group for a very specific purpose not for spending the time we want to Mohammed? share idea yeah. information and I... in stuff thought Mohammed, can you wait a moment? I, actually, I was inviting Khan to summarize that last point, which he didn't mention before. Okay. And, and I'd like to see if he already understood because you have said, uh, told him. And now I want to see if, if he can summarize you. Okay. So, can I try? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Well, uh, Mr. Mohammed, you said to us exactly. Mm, my question is very uh, believable uh, for everybody, not only for me, but also for all the members here. 
uh, which way we are using our time, we can um, we can choose that that is exactly you what you are saying. I mean, what you wanna say? Sorry, sorry for something like. Okay, I I think all of you got the point, of, uh, but. Uh, not okay, the ma main thing you can you can share with me. I mean, which point exactly? I, I think the um, main thing is with you. We ex I explain it, what Han says. Han says that if you know the, 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 the best teacher, it will be better for us. I think you say, said like this, your question was about the, uh, the, the, the best teacher, yeah? Who is, who is teaching on the best way, yeah? Am I right? Uh, yeah, right you are. So I told for the Nelly. Nelly? Yeah. N N Nelly, it is uh, someone. I say to the Nelly, if uh, Hans Khan question is valuable question for all of us. We should answer to him on the perfect way. Thanks, uh, I want to give chance for the other members. Thank you so much for the passion. Okay, so you, you think Khan has understood you, Mohammed? Yes, 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 okay, of course, over. yes. Great, then I, I'm inviting Khan to speak. Hello. If you'd oh. like to. My greeting to all. This is well. This is Khan. Can I can I talk with my topic? Uh, yes. If you don't mind. Well, exactly which I mean that with teacher with teacher theory you like with teacher exactly. Uh, you think that theory um workable for your life or for your uh, improvement the way you are here for learning. So yeah, every teacher instruction, maybe you like, or maybe you not, not like because of, uh, because we are human, different kind of human here. So we can be different, but I don't compare, I don't wanna match together all the teachers here. I just wanna just knowing which teacher exactly point of view on your view exactly you like most. So for me, I like most, to be honest, James' instruction, the way he teach, the way exactly he leading the session like that. Um, whenever um, I hear exactly, um, I exactly learn so many things like that. How to say, uh, I, uh, first time I don't join here. So that time I said uh, to him uh, like that, I used, I used to call him, Mr. James, Mr. James. So he just uh, taught me, no, it's not good way, exactly. Yeah. The good way you can call me Mr. James. Yeah. So that's anybody else. Diabo. Um, this is Mukhtar from Tunisia. Nelly. Go ahead, Mukhtar. Thank you very much. Actually, I've been teaching for a good while now. And uh, well, I, I want to relate to Hans' question. Uh, um, I'm, as a teacher, I'm very familiar with uh, my, our students asking this question to each other. And, you know, uh, and they call people, this is my best teacher, that is my best teacher. I don't like that teacher, I like that one. This is very common, this is very familiar. So we shouldn't get uh, you know, anxious about that. Uh, the thing is that there are criteria for, for maybe judging if a teacher is good or bad. This is very subjective. I mean, I can like a teacher because maybe because of his voice, maybe because she's a, she's a pretty, pretty lady or a handsome guy, but not, you know, this is not why he is there. I mean, maybe he's good at teaching, but I don't like him because maybe of his voice, right? So uh, there, there are criteria of, uh, we should agree on the criteria on how to judge uh, whether this teacher is good or not. I mean, like in our group, in our group here, there are teachers who work with beginners. If I'm an advanced, 
I would find their lessening, their lessons boring to me. So uh, I wouldn't like what they what they do. And if I'm a beginner, I would I would find a teacher uh, giving lessons for advanced students as maybe boring because they can't understand any anything from them. So uh, it's not easy to uh, to you know to say whether this teacher is good or bad. This is very subjective, I guess. Thank you. Anyone else? Can I? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's would a you good say, name. Min? Min Luin, Hello. would you say your name and your country? Yes, I'm Min Luin from Myanmar. It's okay. Thank you very much. Uh, nice to meet you all. Yes, I, I would like to give a summarize, or uh, maybe a, a summary about the discussion between the yeah, to, yeah. Actually, the first, he discussed about just only who do you like, just only the likeness of the, maybe the learners on, on the teachers. So it's not uh, criticizing, uh, maybe just only showing their favor on the teacher, maybe whether he likes or he dislikes. In another way, uh, from the point of the teacher, we cannot just accept that. Uh, maybe uh, the teacher themselves, yes, uh, we can improve uh, our weak points. Uh, we can change, maybe discussing this kind of topic. But for an experienced person, maybe because of that, it can cause a uh, destruction between the society or the teamwork. It, is, it may become that the one that Han Hassan, yes, Hassan, he means like that, I think so. So actually, from each point of view, yes, we are correct in every position. Just only we need understanding. Just, uh, just uh, discussing about the likenesses on the teachers on this team, it may become the special one, maybe who can create the better ways for the teachers. And also they can, they have, they can arrange, uh, they can manage or, or maybe uh, they can organize their maybe something in their lesson like this. Uh, they can get any profit for them, for the teachers. Yeah, because they were saying just only what they, uh, the way they like and then why, why do they like? Actually, the, the, the way, of expression may become the most important thing. How, how, or maybe the way, why do they like the teachers? Maybe how do they teach and what's the weak point? What, 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 does, uh, what does this make them to understand difficult for that point of view when teaching? Maybe it's a kind of, it just only uh, discussing about a lesson not to the personal attachment, I think. Yes, and the first question is a good point of view. If uh, we have uh, already understood on the questions, but for an experienced person, maybe Hannah, he disagreed with the question uh, because it can cause a lot of, yes. So, uh, maybe, maybe yeah, that's fine. If you, so, if you, would, if you would choose, if you ha would have to choose one direction, um, to either speak about teachers' pre preference for teachers or to uh, exclude this topic from the classroom, uh, which would you choose? You, you, I, I think you said that you can see value in both or in both arguments, but do you know which which is more true for you? Yes, I have to stand on both sides. If they are discussing about the things that they would like to uh, uh, to create the learning society to the better, to be the better world, I mean, yes, not only for the teacher but also for the learners. Yes, so on both sides, I can stand. I mean, that way, I can. <laughs> and stand. I'm not letting you stand on both sides. <laughs> I mean, why yeah, did you because choose one? Each so of just, each of just them your... have their own. Yeah. Uh, they just own... It, you, it's yeah, not yeah. final or uh, for eternity, but just right now, would you prefer to talk about um, 
which teacher is most valuable for you or would you prefer to talk about the I think you have already chosen I, I think you have you would like to uh, talk about the concerns that it might cause trouble to talk about the compare between teachers if you are not careful so you're in more in Hassan's subgroup I think uh, so, yeah. can I speak Nelly uh, wait a moment Mohammed um, I'd like uh, Minlevin has the floor and I'd like him to finish if he wants to say something more and then okay. we'll move on okay Uh, if we are not focusing on the society, just only targeting on the discussion. So I can accept the point that who do you like most, maybe amongst the teacher, is the, the one that uh, I can accept. Just only target on the point because we are discussing and we are practicing speaking. That's why, yeah. I can accept it. And I will stand on that side. Thank you. <laughs> because it's not, a, it's not about the yes, association. Yes, that's fine. So if I understand you correctly, you're okay with talking about which teacher we like as a way to practice English. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. And if you're finished, say anyone else. Okay, yes, I'm finished. I'm done. So anyone else? And actually, Mohammed, um, I know you wanted to speak, but um, I would like yes. to ask. I'm not inviting you to speak now. Uh, you have spoken before, and it's a very short class. I just have not 50, uh, 60 minutes. <laughs> so I would like to invite uh, all people who have not spoken in this class, anyone who wants to speak, I, I'm inviting them to just say their name, their country, and something they want to share with this group. Hello. Yes. Okay, introduction. Hello. Yes. Introduction, am I right? Yes, whatever you want to share with the group. And you'd start oh, yeah, with saying yeah. your name and your country. Really? And everyone else, please mute yourself who is not speaking, um, in particular, the people who have already spoken. So, okay, so now may I give my introduction? Yes, go ahead, Ra okay. Raj. Yeah, Rajoshi, my, okay. Okay, so hello, everybody. My name is Rajoshi Roy, and my nickname is Raj, and I'm from Silat, Bangladesh. And, actually, and uh, my hobbies are actually playing cricket and uh, as well as reading books and uh, listening music. And I'm a student of class eight, and I belong from Silat, and uh, that's what I wanted to say. Thank you. Actually, today is my first day. Okay, I'm just a little bit nervous. Welcome. Glad to have you here. And when you are finished you. with what you wanted to say, you just say anyone else, and then somebody else will know they can speak. Okay, anyone else can speak. Okay, Maya, great. Hello. hello. Thank you. Uh, this is Yasin. May I? Um, go ahead, Yasin. Yes. May I talk? I, I wonder, I think you have spoken before today. May I talk? Yes. But so I'm didn't. asking you to step back for a while, okay, and okay. let's hear from the people who haven't spoken. If there's any. Nani, Indonesia. <laughs> Everybody's so serious about who's the best teacher. You know, we are all here for learning and uh, preparing for winter teachers. Anyone, there's many such subjects to fail you teachers here. This is the place for everyone to learn. Those, there are many teachers, they also learn here. So I disagree with the cut point, but it's okay to ask like that one. Everybody has their own opinion. But when it come already bigger and well managed for well, the system, we can do that. They're selecting teacher, the good one, like Mohammed said, and we know the best, we can continue studying. But so far we just started all with James. So we're gonna support all the system that been available now, even Nelly, Nelly spent a lot of time with this group. 
We cannot do that. So any jump teacher that was, I want to teach you that. Just accept it first. Whoever is there, with their quality. We cannot judge people here. It's very subjective. Who said that? I agree. At the beginning, to uh, build a big organization like this, you need to understand whoever that been uh, presented the topic, the make the schedule, we just accept. Uh, even here, many times we learn passive, but they come to passive again. Who going to complain this? They're not. Because learning is a process, unstoppable process. Life is a big classroom. And Zoom also very, yeah, you can say limited participant, but this is very multicultural, international classroom. We can evaluate it because like today I gave in a breakout room, all Indonesian students, how can expect that one? I can speak Bahasa there. And some, they, they learn English, then that's a good, good point, but just accept it first. And later we're gonna see how James managed this well and how all uh, board directors, they're all working together. All board directors also came from ours, our, I mean, participants that uh, uh, want to contribute Nani? themselves. <coughs> yeah, that's it. Nani? So I just, in the middle, I don't know, to be supported or what, but I disagree to evaluate the uh, teacher by that way. We just all learning first. That's a good, we just follow what they present for us to learn. The state for my teacher, any experienced teacher, unexperienced teacher. Just want to try how to teach in June, just let it flow. Just enjoy. That's my opinion. Thank you. Would you say anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, I forgot. <laughs> Hello, Nelly. This is Satish here. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, all the teachers, um, their effort and their effective teaching. So the question is, who is the best teacher? So uh, I, I, I would like to share my opinion about it. So see, uh, no one is best or no one is worst. It depends upon the person and, and it depends upon their teaching style. If I demand something and if I get uh, from their teaching style, then I can say, yeah, this teacher is best. But that might not be, uh, we can say uh, like, this is the best because it may not be best for someone else. So we can't differentiate uh, like this. So instead of, uh, instead of going uh, or instead of differentiating who is the best teacher, we have to uh, think that uh, which teaching style is best for uh, for this platform because we have 24 participants and if their teaching style is particular particularly applicable for this platform then we can say this teaching style is good for this platform and like that we can differentiate that's all from my side okay thank you satish you got my point i yeah, I think you. so. And I'd like to just leave it at that because we have just nine minutes left and maybe some, I want to give four further minutes for other people who haven't spoken um, and then go to a quick surprises and learnings. So. Uh, hello, yeah. thank you. Yeah, this is uh, Bubak from uh, Niger. So I want to emphasize uh, some uh, point that uh, uh, they previously mentioned, and uh, I hear that some uh, uh, some uh, some learner uh, complain maybe about uh, I don't know maybe I, I think about the teacher. So well, I think uh, as uh, my friend uh, previously said. Uh, sometime you know uh, this is uh, can be not a teacher's problem because we are all here to learn from each other so the teacher is uh, not uh, maybe here to teach all maybe the teacher is uh, also here maybe to learn from other so just uh, what uh, the teacher has to do is to manage correctly the group 
and that's uh, what I saw today. And uh, yeah, I think that's my idea uh, about. So and also I don't know if uh, I can suggest something. If you can maybe uh, try to choose a topic, you know, and uh, which a series of question that maybe can uh, open up uh, a lot of uh, discussion door and uh, maybe allow a lot of people to speak more. Yeah. I think that's that's my idea. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Say anyone else, Bubak. Yeah, so anyone else? Hello. This is Fereydun from Iran. Can I talk? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I think at first, because in this application, all of pictures are free and we don't pay anything for uh, uh, any teacher. So we never and never can say that oh, that teacher is bad or that teacher is not good. I think that these are at first, all, uh, all of teachers are, are very valuable and uh, kindly people that they dedicate their time to all of the people to learn English. So, so I think all of the people that are working in this uh, application at here in these classes, or uh, all of them in my idea are regardable. And we know, as my, our friend said before, everybody has uh, the manner of himself. Uh, no one, uh, nobody uh, is not the same with other. Everybody has a different uh, behavior, different manner, different system to his teaching, to his teaching, his teach. In my idea, if uh, we have uh, constant teachers for a long time, okay, uh, all of us turn and change to a friend okay we will be more family with each other we will be more Friday. relaxed sorry yes. i need to step in now we just have five minutes left and okay. i'd like to to go to the feedback section of this class uh, which is you can say um your satisfactions or dissatisfactions with my me leading the teaching here and you can also uh, say what something you learned here in the class, something you are surprised about, you discovered, or something you want to do differently next time, or something you want to do in the future, a next move. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm okay, inviting okay. everyone again, not just you, Fredron, and not just people who are, who haven't spoken yet, but everyone can speak. Just go ahead and be quick with your what you are going to say, so some people can come in. Thank okay, you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I think uh, I have a satisfaction today uh, because uh, I have uh, had a chance, you know, to talk and to listen to uh, orders, and that uh, maybe can't happen without a good management. And uh, yeah. That's it. Other satisfaction. This is from Costa Rica. Um, I really enjoyed the way you managed that uh, difficult question. That that topic that can made. Um, I think you did it in the in the correct way. Even though I perceived that some people were disagree. So um, instead of just quitting and moving to another topic, you, you did it in a very smart way and you continued giving opportunity to people to express if they like it or not the topic. Very good. Others, other voices. It it was it was really very satisfaction that uh, 
Nidhi was a very good organizer for this topic. It's uh, this. Other voices. This go is ahead, go ahead. Can I say something? Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, go ahead. Satisfaction. Exactly, Mr. Hassan and everybody. Just I just gave some prompts idea and you know uh, and cons idea about the topic exactly uh, I exactly put it this topic uh, topic about like that just knowing about teachers exactly teachers occupation about exactly the way um, uh, negative way or positive way so I just got and the way you just leading about um, two team exactly satisfaction team dissatisfaction team it's totally difficult like that's difficult to just handle so it's okay thanks for that and thanks everybody my satisfaction hello yes actually i club arts yes we are learners sir here just only the question which teach which teacher do you like much all the teachers Actually, he can also pre maybe refer to the private teacher or maybe maybe child teacher, whatever it is. Just only on that Hello, topic. We are have you this learning? Is this a learning? Different approaches. This one. Yes, that's why uh, we can get so many different approaches. Yeah, that's why. Thank you very much. I have a satisfaction Sorry. on this discussion. Thank you. May I give oh, my feedback about this one? Who is that? Alex, go ahead. Okay. Or um, <laughs> well, okay, I got the floor already. I, 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 I'm gonna Take be quick. It. I'm gonna be quick. I just wanna <laughs> my satisfaction is about Mokter. What he said is truly important, is subjective. Because I can like this exactly what Mokter said. I can like a teacher because his voice, or maybe because she's good looking, or maybe because she or he are a hell of a good teacher, and other person can like a different a different teacher. That's why I said, don't take it personal. We are humans, we are different. Um, you know, we like different things. Okay. So I, I like this, this... Um, can Thank I, can you, I, can Alex. Summarize for Thank you, Alex. That's and we have works. crossed the time boundary, and I, I'm planning to end on time. What? Uh, so, sorry for everyone who still has their ideas, but you can bring it to the next class. Sure. And thanks, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, everybody. You, Nelly. Bye -bye. Thank you, Nelly. Bye. Thank you, Nelly. Bye. 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 Always good to thank see you. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank Nani. you. Yeah. <laughs> Nani, I can't see you. Nani, you. Uh, Nani, 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 what, is, Nani okay. what is the time? Nani, what is the time? This is midnight or morning. You are morning, wake morning, up now. Morning, here, morning. Morning. Oh, you are oh, you asleep. <laughs> But you, but you were, you were uh, at the before class. I, I, I don't know when did you sleep. When wake up? How is this? <laughs> you, just, you just have to take. Just to, to close the breakout room. We've been spent two hours, five minutes there. <laughs> uh, when did you sleep? Nani. When did you wake up? Yes. <laughs> Nani, Kader Hussein is speaking. Kader Hussein yes, is speaking. Go, go, Kader. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know here in our country, we call yeah. nanny to grandmother, grandmother. So, ah, you are the hundred one, the hundred one and six persons to tell me that one. Right. Nanny means grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> so we will say you, grandma, grandma. Yeah, you, you can of call nanny. me grandma. <laughs> nana, in Australia they call nana, nana. Uh, Nani. 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 Sorry for interrupting. Is there Hello. Mr. Hassan here? Yes, Nani. Here, I'm Mili. 
I would like to know about the, uh, maybe your explanation about the question that he had used. Which teacher do you like among all the teacher? How do you understand that as a senior teacher? Please, any explanation for us? Are we still using this joke? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to continue that because of the question, yes. <laughs> no, no, like, like this, like this. Okay, how many people here now? 15. So this is platform. This is not class. It's a real, while James also treats it like a class, but we have to consider this is all our place to learn. That's the point. Whoever is the teacher, you cannot tell you them like that we will make standards. If it is an international organization that's already professional, you can do selection by their curriculum. I mean, they buy their certificate, something. That's best you can evaluate teacher. Not only uh, subjectively you, uh, you measure by your own experience teaching uh, uh, online like this, no. The way, look at, just to the example, the way James led to practice passive voice is totally different the way Pateme explained passive voice. So every single teacher, they have their own style to transferring yeah. the knowledge, the, the, the topic. I'm carried nani, this point. Yeah, yeah. So, so we just try to appreciate anyone here. If it is Fatima, it is we have to consider it is part of ours. If it is uh, uh, Olina, it's part of ours. That I want all uh, friends here, participants to learn. They share because uh, they want to share something. They want also to, to show their ability teaching online, something like that. We just give them chance. That's why when James offer pointing teacher, blah, 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 I totally agree with the idea because it gives chance to anyone to uh, prove their ability to teach for anybody. So if it comes to evaluate teacher, if it is you, how did you feel? Um, exactly. International. I yeah, it is that. I I, it's okay you brought that uh, uh, topic to the surface. It's okay. No problem. But, but, but none. I exactly didn't mean like that, this topic, exactly. Yeah, I, I just, already read your, your comment on the chat box. You just try to, to, to give opinion. A topic, as a simple topic like that, we are all uh, in the same board or same family yeah, members. Yeah, so that's all I mean. Yeah, all okay. family members. So, yeah, maybe Hassan, Hassan was right. So I just want to hear up to Hassan him, also right by honest. his opinion. You also yes. right. I didn't. I didn't blame. Uh, uh, Min Min, you also uh, right with his opinion. Even Ale 